so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Woohoohoohoo! Oh, hey! It's me, Blippi! And look where I'm at! Whoa! Today, I'm at Triple Play Family Fun Park in Hayden, Idaho. And this place has a lot of fun things! Shall we go have some fun? Yeah, come on! <gasps> Whoa! Cool! A dinosaur! Whoa! Whoa! Cool! Yeah! Looks like a dinosaur! Hey, I heard about you. Are you Stanley? Whoa! Nice to meet you, Stanley. I'm Blippi! <laughs> and I, <laughs> I heard that you know a lot about the family fun park here. Will you show me around? Yeah! Let's go! Whoa! What a cool place, Stanley! Is this Raptor Reef? Cool! Yeah, this is where everyone comes to swim! Whoa! Do you like Raptor Reef? <laughs> yeah! I bet you do. You seem to have a lot of fun here. Hey! I have a couple questions for you. Yeah! Whoa! So are you a Velociraptor? Yeah! You are so cool! Do you love hanging out here? Yeah? Well, I love hanging out here too! It's so cool and it's so colorful! Hey! I have an idea! Will you dance with me? Yeah! Here we go! Whoa! This is so cool! Good dancing! Well, I'm gonna keep exploring. Maybe I'll see you later. If not, thank you so much. All right, see you later. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is the wave pool. Yeah, there's some mechanical things back there and that go up and down, up and down, and it makes some waves. Whoa, cool. Whoa, what's this? Huh. Looks like a bunch of random things. Looks like there's a shiny cup. <laughs> huh. Ooh, a pail? Yeah, for making sand castles. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. <laughs> cool. Ooh. And look at this. Whoa. A blue ball. One of my two favorite colors. Cool. And looks like there's a lot of other fun things in here. <laughs> I have no idea why they're here, but <laughs> pretty cool. Come on. Do you see those? Yeah, there's two raptors up there. And it looks like they're playing. Should we go say hi? <laughs> Come on. Whoa, look at this. Wow, it looks like the end of a water slide. Yeah, a yellow water slide. So cool. <gasps> Whoa, look! The raptors! Whoa, raptors are so cool. Yeah, do you see their claws? Whoa, they're so sharp. Whoa, looks like they're playing. They're saying, hey! <laughs> do you wanna play? The other one's like, yeah! Whoa, and check out the feet right here. Whoa, yeah! Do you see the big claws on the feet? Yeah, come check it out. Whoa, cool. All right. Hey, I have an idea. Since we're at a pool and we saw all those items earlier. Yeah, remember all those random items? Yeah. Why don't we play sink or float? Yeah, this is going to be fun. Let's go. This is gonna be so much fun. But first, did you see how I was walking? Yeah, anytime you're next to a pool, you always wanna walk, you never run. All right, now it's time for sink or float. Yeah, all right, well, let's do the blue ball first. I bet you and I know what this is gonna do. Yeah, it's really light. All right, here we go. Yeah, it floats. <laughs> all right. What about this pink pan? Woo, it's like I'm making some eggs for breakfast. <laughs> All right, 
See you later, Pan. Oh, yeah. It floats as well. All right, let's see. Whoa, cool. Look, a rhinoceros. Whoa, rhinoceros is so cool. Yeah, do you see that? It's like a horn on its nose. All right, rhinoceros. Let's see if it sinks or floats. Whee! <laughs> that floats as well. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Aw. Hey, look, a little spoon. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, a spoon is a utensil. So then you can eat your food with a utensil and not your hands. Sink or float, bye bye Yeah, it sinks. Whoa, that was our first item that sinks. All right, let's see here. Whoa, so many cool items. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Whoa, I could have used this with that skillet. Yeah, that pan, yeah, because this is a spatula. So then I could have grabbed the eggs and put it on a plate, but it's really heavy. I bet I know what this is gonna do. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, that also sinks. All right, let's see here. Ooh, <laughs> whoa. All right, check these out. These look like bath toys. Whoa! Yeah, an orange one. Looks like an octopus. Ooh, and it looks like a sea turtle. Wow! Octopuses and sea turtles live in the ocean. All right, see you later, sea turtle. Woohoo! Yeah, it floats. And I bet you this is gonna do the same because it's a bath toy. Whee! Yeah, it floats as well. All right, let's see here. Whoa! Another animal. Yeah, do you know what this is? Yeah, this is a cheetah. Wow, do you see how it's running? Yeah, cheetahs are super duper fast. Whoa! Cheetahs can run about 70 miles an hour. Now that is fast. That's as fast as you drive on a freeway. All right, let's see you, cheetah, go in the water super fast. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That cheetah toy floats! Whoa! Yeah! Some beach toys! Wow, have you ever been to the beach? Yeah, it's so fun just putting your feet in the sand, here in the waves. Wow! Yeah, and seeing the surfers! Cool! Yeah, these are beach toys because you can put sand in here and then make sand castles out of them. All right, here we go. Sink or float. Woohoo! 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 Yeah! All those toys float. <laughs> All right. What else do we have in here? Oh, cool. Yeah. Tennis balls. Looks like we have a green, blue, and orange tennis ball. Well, should we see if they sink or float? Yeah, but first, woohoo, yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> whoa, yeah, those tennis balls float! <laughs> whoa, hey! <laughs> whoa, all right, let's see. Stanley? <laughs> Is this Stanley? Oh, hello, Stanley! <laughs> yeah, looks like a Stanley toy, all right. Stanley is a velociraptor, as you know. Yeah, he's a very fierce dinosaur, but he's also very nice. All right, Stanley, we're gonna see if you sink or float. Woohoo! Yeah! Stanley floats! Looks like we have a few things left. So, shall I throw it all in? Yeah! Oh, can't forget this and this. Whoa! All right, three, two, one. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> that was so much fun! Seeing what items sink and what items float! I sure do love having fun with you and learning with you. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! 
B L I P P I. Blippy. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Just kidding. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippy. Did you see what I was just doing? <laughs> I was acting like a dinosaur. Rah, rah. <laughs> That's so silly. Yeah, and today we're at Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History in Santa Barbara, California. And I have a great idea. Why don't you and I go inside and see if we can find some dinosaurs? Yeah, let's go! Wow, I'm having a lot of fun! Whoa. <gasps> Look at this! Prehistoric forest? Wow! Prehistoric? Yeah, that was a really long time ago. And actually, at a point of prehistoric times, there was dinosaurs! I love dinosaurs. Do you love dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah! Did you hear that? Yeah, that was a dinosaur roaring. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What is this? Wow, looks like a really colorful book. I wonder what's inside. Whoa! <laughs> All right. <gasps> Wow, there's a letter, a message. It says, find these five dinosaurs in the prehistoric forest. Are they right now? Whoa, then choose your favorite dino and color it. Whoa, cool. All right, looks like we have to find these dinosaurs. Whoa, cool. There's three dinosaurs. Ooh, four and five. All right. Let's find all five of these dinosaurs and then we'll color one. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Did you hear that? Yeah, this dinosaur just roared. So cool. Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Hmm, it does have plates on its back. Huh, I wonder if it's in this book. All right, is it this dinosaur? No, let's see. Oh, what about this one? Definitely not. Could be this one. Close, but that's not it. Huh, what about that one? No, is it this one? Yeah! You can tell by all those plates. Oh, I know what kind of dinosaur this is. It's a Stegosaurus. Yeah, I could tell because the plates on its back. Every Stegosaurus have at least 17 plates. Yeah, or more. So cool. And they actually are herbivores. That means they eat plants. I like eating plants too. <laughs> yeah, like lettuce or like salad and spinach. Yum! So healthy. <laughs> okay. Hey, we should probably check this box off so we can keep track of what dinosaurs we find. All right. Made a little X right there. Wow. Perfect. Whoa, cool. All right. Let's keep exploring and see what other dinosaurs we can find. Yeah! <laughs> see ya! Please do not touch or feed the dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, I definitely won't touch or feed the dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out, another dinosaur. Whoa, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Well, it looks like it has some horns. Oh, there's a baby right there. Hello, hey. All right, let's see if we can find the dinosaur in the book. Is it this dinosaur? Oh, yeah! You're right, it is! All right, we need to mark it off right here. Yeah! Do you know what kind of dinosaur that is? Yeah, it's a Triceratops. Do you know how we know? Yeah, come here, I'll show you. Wow! All right, do you see the horns? Yeah, let's count them together. One, 
two, <laughs> three, three horns. Yeah, its name is Triceratops. Tri, T-R-I. Tri means three. Yeah, so this is a Triceratops. Wow, good job. <laughs> well, let's keep exploring and see what other kind of dinosaurs we can find. Yeah! Check it out, another dinosaur. Wow, this dinosaur looks so cool. Well, hey, let's see if this dinosaur is in our book. Whoa, hey, dinosaur. <laughs> All right, okay, well, it's not this one. Yeah, because this one's the Triceratops, remember? Yeah. All right, what about one of these two? Is it this one? Definitely not. What about this one? Oh, yeah, it does look like this one. Good job, we found another dinosaur. All right, let's check it off. Put a little X right there. Wow, awesome. <laughs> well, this dinosaur does look really cool, but I don't know the name of this dinosaur. Huh, I wonder what kind of dinosaur this is. Oh, hey, Hi. who are you? I'm Jenna, I'm the director of education. Wow, that's cool. So that means you know a lot about dinosaurs? I do know a lot about dinosaurs. Wow, well my friends and I were just trying to think of this dinosaur's name. Do you know its name? I do. This is an Eoplocephalus. Eoplocephalus, that's hard to say. Wow, do you know any cool facts about this dinosaur? I know a lot of cool facts about this dinosaur. Wow. It's covered in armor from its head all the way down to its tail. Wow. It's got spikes on its back, horns on its head, and even a club tail. Oh yeah, the club tail. Ooh, and the spikes and the horns. Wow, and the really thick armor skin. Why does this dinosaur have all of that? Yeah, this dinosaur has all of those features to protect it from predators. Whoa, that's really cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching us the name of this dinosaur and some fun facts. Is there any other dinosaurs that you could show us? Oh, absolutely. All right, let's go. <laughs> Another dinosaur, yeah! Whoa, this is a really cool looking dinosaur. Wow, should we check to see if it's in the book? Let's check. All right, <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, well, it's not this dinosaur. We already found that dinosaur. Ooh, is it this dinosaur? No, okay, we found that one. Let's see, what about this dinosaur? Oh yeah, it is! Wow, good job! Thanks so much for helping us find this dinosaur. All right, let's check it off. There we go. Wow, that's awesome. Well, what kind of dinosaur is this? This is a Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Wow, that's a hard name to say. And what's that thing on its head? Is that a horn? It's actually not a horn. Oh. It's actually a sinus. A sinus? Like it connects to the nose? It connects to its nose. Wow, why do they have that? Well, they use it almost like a trombone. They suck in air and then they blow it out as a really loud, deep sound. Oh, I know what a trombone is. <laughs> cool. Whoa, and look at its mouth, it's really wide. Yeah, so it can hold hundreds of teeth. Oh, really? Like really strong, big, sharp, massive teeth? Well, actually more of a lot of little teeth. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What does it eat with its teeth? It eats lots and lots of plants, a lot of plants. Wow, really? And do they then grow in and then stay there forever? Well, no, they're constantly losing their teeth. Kind of like little kids do. And then new teeth grow in and they eat more plants. Wow, that is really cool. Thank you so much for teaching us about these two dinosaurs. <laughs> You're welcome, Blippi. I've got more dinosaur things to do today. All right, <laughs> see you later. Thank you so much. Wow, that was really nice of her. All right, so we found four dinosaurs, but we need to find five dinosaurs. So there must be one more dinosaur around here. <gasps> Another dinosaur! 
Wow, this dinosaur looks so big and furious. <laughs> All right, let's see if this dinosaur is in our book. All right, it's not that one. <laughs> okay, is it this one? Yeah, it's our last dinosaur. Good job. All right, let's check it off. There we go. Whoa, all right. Hey, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Yeah, it's a T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex. So big and fierce, but cute teeny little arms. Whoa. <laughs> and do you see its teeth? Yeah, they are very big and very sharp. Yeah, and they're actually shaped like a banana. Whoa. Wow, T-Rexes are so cool because their jaws are so strong. They're actually the most strongest jawed dinosaur that we know of. Wow, and actually what we think now, the juveniles, the teenagers of T-Rexes actually might have had some feathers. Wow, T-Rexes are so cool. <laughs> All right, now let's go pick a dinosaur and color it in. This is gonna be fun, yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Wow, wasn't that so much fun learning about those five dinosaurs? Wow, and they were all so big and it was cool to learn about what they eat. Whoa, and their teeth. <laughs> all right, let's uh, decide which dinosaur we should color. <laughs> all right, let's see, the Triceratops or one of these two. Huh, let's see, how about I was supposed to pick my favorite dinosaur out of these five. The T-Rex is pretty cool, but I don't know if I can pick my favorite because they're all so cool. Well, hey, why don't we color the Stegosaurus? So then we can color the plates all different colors. Wow. All right, first let's take the green one. Ooh, here you go, Stegosaurus. Ooh, nice green plate. Ooh, how about red? Whoa, there you go. Whoa, this is gonna be a very colorful Stegosaurus. Yeah, I used orange, one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> oh, we'll use my second other favorite color. Yeah, blue. There we go. Whoa, so colorful. Yeah, do you remember what Stegosauruses eat? Yeah, plants, because they're herbivores. Ooh, how about pink? <laughs> there you go, yeah, pink. Ooh, and let's do the last plate as purple. Whoa, look at that. Now that is a colorful Stegosaurus. All right, last but not least, a green scribble. Whee! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we take green and draw a plant right here? Yeah, like it's eating. Ooh, there you go. Kind of hard to see. <laughs> wow. What a great Stegosaurus. Very colorful. They didn't look like this back then, but it still looks really cool. Whoa! That was so much fun learning about dinosaurs with you. I sure do love dinosaurs. What magnificent creatures they were. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah, B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, well, I'm going to keep this book right here so then the next person that comes here, they can color one of their favorite dinosaurs. Yeah. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. Yeah, look at what I'm doing. Whoa, I'm roasting a marshmallow. Yum, I'm gonna make a s'more. Yum. <laughs> yeah, tonight I'm at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California. <laughs> I had a very healthy dinner. And now I get to make some dessert. <laughs> yep, and if you ever 
ever get to roast marshmallows, you definitely should be with a grown-up, okay? Yeah, because fires are dangerous. But hey, I have something really cool to tell you. Yeah, this safari park has what's called a roaring snore. Yeah, it's a campground at this safari park. You can spend the night with the animals. Oh, look, the marshmallow is done. This is gonna be so yummy. Hey, should we go check out the tent? <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> I am so excited to go to bed. Ooh, campsite 22. <laughs> Ooh, good thing I just brushed my teeth. It is very important to brush your teeth before you go to bed. Wow, look at the tent. It looks so cozy. Hmm, should we go inside and check it out? Yeah. <laughs> look, Flippy bedtime stories. Do you ever read before you go to bed? <laughs> I do. I love reading before I go to bed. All right, I should probably get in the sleeping bag. So then after the story, I can sleep. <laughs> All right, whoa, what a comfortable bed. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> flippy bedtime stories. <laughs> All right, <sighs> okay, let's see here. Page number one. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a, a large and colorful zoo <laughs> with so many animals different from me and you. <laughs> Some were big, <gasps> others, <gasps> others small. <laughs> Some, someone squawk. <laughs> someone squawk. <laughs> Some, <gasps> some, some went. Whoa! Check it out, an animal! Whoa! Hey, who are you? Hi, my name is Laura. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Flippy. What Hi, do you Flippy. do here? I work with the animals here. I'm a wildlife care specialist. And these are some of our animal ambassadors here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Wow, cool. And I know what kind of animal this is. This is a porcupine, right? Yes, this is an African crested porcupine. You can oh. see her crest right over her head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hello. And what's her name? Her name is Quilma. Oh, Quilma. Oh, maybe because it has a lot of quills? Yeah. Oh, really cool. They look really sharp. What are they made out of? These quills are actually made up of keratin, just like our hair and our fingernails. Oh, wow. Well, my hair isn't sharp like these, but I guess if they become very dense, then your hair and nails can be really sharp like these. Wow, what is she eating? So Quilma's eating some biscuits because mm. she has really sharp teeth uh -huh. and her teeth are always growing. So she eats a biscuit and it helps her to keep her teeth kind of a little bit shorter. Oh, that makes sense. So you and I, when we grow our teeth, they stop and then they're the size that they are. But Quilma, her teeth keep growing and growing and growing. And so she needs to eat things to trim them down to stay nice and short. Oh, she has some cute ears. Hey, Quilma. <laughs> wow. Ooh, and looks like the quills are white and black. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of predators in Africa, so Quilma has to protect herself. So when she feels frightened, she can lift up all of those quills and she looks a lot bigger than she actually is. Oh, wow. Cool defensive mechanism. Hey. And does she shoot out her quills? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think she shoots her quills, but she doesn't. That'd be like us shooting our hair right off of our head. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enjoy your snack. <gasps> Whoa, cool. Another animal. Whoa. Hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Nalani. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet Blippi. you. Whoa, I know what kind of animal this is. This looks like a really big hedgehog. Ooh, that's a really good guess, but this isn't actually a hedgehog. Really? Right, instead it's an echidna, and they're native to Australia. 
Can you tell though? It kind of looks a little bit like Quilma, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Has those really sharp quills. Are those quills just like the porcupine? Another really good guess, but they're not quills. Instead, oh. they're actually spines. They do sort of the same thing though that Quilma's uh her quills do. Uh -huh. So instead, uh, they are attached to his body and they help uh, if a predator were to come and to bite down, try to make him lunch. Mm -hmm. um, they're just as pokey and it's not really fun to bite oh, into. Cool. Mm -hmm. So another great defensive mechanism. Absolutely. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And it looks like his nose is really long. It is. And so he can use that nose to sniff out bugs underground. And you can see right now he's eating a bug soup. Uh, uh -huh. So that's what we feed him here at the safari park. He's Ooh. also using that really long tongue of his to slurp it up. Ooh, mm -hmm. yum! Mm -hmm. So is this a mammal? It is a mammal. So this guy is a mammal, but he does a lot of things that other mammals don't really do. Really? Like so what? Instead, other females, not Shaw because he's a boy, uh, would actually lay eggs which is really, really weird, right? Yeah. Most mammals don't do that. Instead, uh, they give birth and then they feed their babies milk. So these guys also feed their babies milk, but they lay a sort of soft leathery egg, sort of oh. like other reptiles, but they're not. Um, and instead that baby hatches and it's born without any of these spines. They're really, really soft. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're known as puggles. Puggles? Mm -hmm. That's a silly name. It is. That is really cool. I've actually never heard of a mammal that lays eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really There's cool. actually one other one that does. Oh, mm -hmm. what one? The platypus. Whoa, I know what a platypus is. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for teaching me about this animal. No problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like we have a couple more animals. Oh, and look, looks like a turtle or a tortoise. Yeah, it definitely has a very hard shell. Oh, and look at these animals. Hello, they look very soft. Hard, soft. <laughs> All right, let's learn about them. Whoa, what kind of animals are these? These are called tamanduas. Oh, tamanduas. That's a really cool name. They kind of look like an anteater. They are an anteater. Oh. They are actually known as lesser anteaters. So we have the giant anteater that's a lot bigger, and then a silky anteater, which is a lot smaller. They're kind of the mid-sized version. Okay, and they're black and white. They kind of remind me of a skunk. Are they stinky? They are really stinky. Oh. They actually can smell a little bit worse than a skunk. Really? They're known <laughs> as the stinkers of the forest in South America. <laughs> That's silly, and what are they eating? They're eating what we call bug soup. So oh. it's one of their favorite things here to eat here at the safari park. Oh, so they like to eat bugs they, and insects? They do. So I have some bugs also. Let's see if oh. they want to eat these bugs. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they do look hungry. Whoa. Oh, and it looks like you have a lot of pieces of wood here, and it looks like they're all torn up. Why is that? That's one of their favorite things to do, is to tear into the wood with their really sharp claws, and then they find the bugs, and they use their tongue, and they stick their tongue down to slurp all those bugs up. Wow, that is really cool. Flippy, they have a really long tongue. Oh, they do? It's about 16 inches long. Whoa, that's probably like that big. That's really long. Isn't that about the same length as a giraffe? It is, giraffes wow. have really long tongues. And wow. so do the tamanduas. Let's see if she wants to show you the tongue. Okay. Oh, there it is. Whoa. Yeah, so these animals' tongues are about the same length as, as a giraffe's tongue. But yeah. theirs are really sticky, so oh, all of are? those bugs will stick to their tongue. Oh, yeah, and it looks like they eat downward into the, the ground, holes, wood, while giraffes typically eat upward and try and grab leaves. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, hey, you're really cool. Oh, and it looks like they have some claws or you. They nails. have really, really, uh, their claws and nails, and they use those to tear into things, and they also use it for climbing. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So then they can wrap their hands around branches, maybe? Yeah. Do they live around the trees? They do. They spend a lot of their time up in the trees, oh. and they use their tail as an extra arm or leg to climb. Whoa. That was really cool learning about them. 
Hey, what are their names? This is Cora, and Cora is the, the mom of this baby, and his name is Tatis. Oh, well, nice to meet you two. <laughs> I'm gonna go learn about the turtle or the tortoise. We'll find out. See you later. <laughs> Whoa. Hi there. Cool. Hey, so who is this? This is Sita. And oh. you were right, this is our tortoise. Oh. And he is specifically an African leopard tortoise. Ooh, African leopard mm -hmm. tortoise. Yeah. Ooh, do they call it that because it kind of looks like a leopard? Exactly. So it sort of looks like the spots of a leopard. But this actually helps him to blend into his uh, environment out in Africa. So oh. out in Africa, there are a lot of dark browns, light browns, lots of dirt that he mm -hmm. can blend into. And from there, he can actually cover his shell with that dirt and sort of look like a dusty rock. Oh, that's mm -hmm. really cool. Cool camouflage. Absolutely. And rocks are really hard. Is he also really hard? He is. You can yeah. actually touch him and feel really? it if you'd like. Wow, cool. Yeah. Oh, he is very hard. That helps to protect all the other soft parts of his body, too. Oh, <laughs> wow. Full of defensive mechanisms. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so can he, like, leave his shell or go into a shell? He can't leave his shell. It's a part of his body. Okay. So what he does is he'll actually pull all of the soft parts, like his head, towards his shell. He'll push his neck in. Um, and it'll push his legs and his arms towards his body, towards his shell. Um, and from there, he can also use these really sharp scales that he has, just in case a predator did want to try to take a bite out of him. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and speaking of taking a bite, looks like he's hungry. Yeah, What's he, he eating? Is. He's eating a salad. It's full of a lettuce, carrots, and turnips. Uh -huh. But out in the wild, he's a plant eater, so he is herbivorous. Wow. So he'd be eating grasses and all sorts of different plants. Wow, <laughs> that is really cool. So this tortoise is a herbivore. That means he eats plants. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, hello. <laughs> so is he full size? He's not. He's actually going to keep growing. Right now, Sita is 20 years old. Wow. But African leopard tortoises, they can get to be 50 years old. Wow. Really, really old. Uh, so from there, they just keep growing and growing. So Sita is about 30 pounds right now. Uh -huh. He'll probably get around 50. Wow. So Sita mm -hmm. might be 50 pounds someday yeah, and 50 years old. Mm -hmm. 50 years old is very, <laughs> very old. <laughs> wow. Well, it was really cool meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. See you, Sita. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Check it out, look at this bird. Oh, hello. <laughs> what kind of bird is this? This is called a hyacinth macaw. They're found in South America and his name is Lightning. Wow, South America. Whoa, and he is such a pretty blue color. That's one of my two favorite colors. Awesome, yeah, he is blue because it helps him to camouflage up in the tops of the trees. All the tops of the trees provide a lot of shade and so the blue helps to mix in and you can barely even see him. Oh, wow. But you could probably see that bright yellow though, maybe. Yeah, that yellow color that he has is to help to care for his babies. So when a macaw has a baby bird, they put them in a nest, and when the mom and dad come in to feed them, they see the yellow eyes, and that's how they know it's their parent. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Well, he is very pretty, and his beak looks really sharp eating those seeds or nuts that you're giving him? He does have a really big beak. I'm gonna give him a great big nut. We can watch him crack it open. Wow. There's even a type of nut in South America that only the hyacinth macaw can crack open with that big beak. Oh, really? Wow, so it must be a really strong, sharp beak. It really is. Wow, that is really cool. Yeah, nuts and seeds are healthy. <laughs> so this bird is nice and healthy. Ooh, what's this? That's a target stick. One of the things that we do with our animal ambassadors is training. So we have trained Lightning to touch his nose to the ball of that stick. Oh, really? It's called a target. Oh, really? Target. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Good job. You want to try it again after those yummy snacks? 
That was really good. That was awesome. Wow. <laughs> Here you go. Target. Okay. <laughs> wow. That was really cool. Wow, and how old does this bird get? Hyacinth macaws can reach about 60 to 80 years old. And lightning is actually 34 years old already. Whoa, that is really old. Whoa, <laughs> what a cool bird. Well, it's definitely nice to meet you. Wow, this bird is awesome. I love how it's the color blue. And then there's some yellow around its eyes. Wow, and I bet this bird can fly really fast and really high. Wow. Woo. And it's cool that he eats nice and healthy with the seeds. Whoa. Whoa! Check it out! Did you see this bird just fly in? Wow, this is such a pretty black color. Ooh, and look at the beak. It's nice and white. Wow, and it just flew in so fast. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to fly like a bird? Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Yeah, check it out! This is a zip line. And zip lines are where you wear a harness, so then you're nice and safe. Then you attach to these metal cables, so then you can go from the top of a hill all the way down to the bottom, and it'll feel like we're a bird. Ha-ha! Woohoo! Let's go fly. Whoa! Whoa! All right. Oh, thank you so much. This is Brandon, and Brandon is just making sure that I'm nice and safe. Yeah. To ride the zip line, you have to be at least eight years old. Oh, Brandon, I can't get this. Can you help me? Thank you. Yeah, you have to be at least eight years old, at least 60 pounds, but you could weigh all the way up to 300. All right, am I ready? felt like I was a bird. I'm actually kind of getting kind of tired. Wow. Oh, that was great. Oh, I love animals. Wow, so many different types of animals. Yeah, and birds. So cool how they can fly, right? Yeah, flapping their wings, feeling so free. Wow. Hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> okay. All right. This is the story of all those animals that sleep when it's light, but come out at night. Hmm. Oh, when we oh, when we go to bed when we go to bed they they um when we go to bed Whoa <laughs> Whoa <laughs> Whoa Hey who are you? Hi I'm Lauren Nice to meet you, Lauren. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? I am a tour guide here at the safari park. Whoa, a tour guide? Wait, so do we get to go on a tour? We sure do. We are going on a night vision tour. Oh, that's what these are, night vision goggles. Oh, so exactly. we can see the animals? 
Wow, cool. What kind of animals are we going to see? We are looking for nocturnal animals. Oh, yeah, those are animals that are up and awake during the nighttime. <laughs> I am so excited. Shall we go? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. This is so cool how you can see through these things at night. Wow. Whoa, so this has night vision and infrared? They have both. They help us see even better at night. Wow, cool. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool being able to see at night. Yeah, some animals can see at night without these. <laughs> Whoa, birds! Wow, there's so many of them. Whoa, are those flamingos? This is a large colony of greater flamingos. Wow. Oh, yeah. And they are all the color pink. You know why they're pink? They are pink from the food that they eat. They eat a lot of shrimp-like crustaceans that help turn them the color pink. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, and they're all standing on one leg. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them. Wow, this is so cool, being able to see these flamingos at nighttime. Wow. Wow. Look at all the flamingos. Whoa. Whoa, now they're all running. Whoa, they're very active at night. Whoa, this is so much fun. Hey, what do you like to do at work the most? What's your most favorite thing for your job? Because it's so cool that you work with animals. I think it's so fun to show people animals they've never seen before in real life. Yeah, especially the animals that they've never seen because, yeah, it's nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, what's your favorite animal that you have here? Thank you for asking. It is the southern white rhinoceros. Whoa. And they why are, do you like them? They are so big and beautiful, and they remind me of puppies. Aww. <laughs> That's so silly. A rhino remind you of puppies? That's cool. Is that your favorite animal in the whole world or just here? In the whole world. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. Oh, whoa, look. Yeah, a rhinoceros. Wow, what kind of rhinoceros is that? This is a southern white rhinoceros, a mother and her baby. Oh, that is so cute. Southern white rhinoceros. Oh, yeah. That's your favorite animal in the world, isn't it? It is. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Look at her. They look so big and strong. Are they up at night quite a bit? They do get up, but they feel very comfortable and safe when they're sleeping with their family members. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Do you know how much they weigh? They can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Wow, that is very heavy. They probably have to eat a lot of food every single day then, huh? They have to eat tons of food. Even when the babies are born, they're almost 100 pounds. Oh, wow, that is a big baby. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, Rhino. <laughs> wow, check it out. Rhinoceroses are so cool. <laughs> Hey, look, Flippy. Uh huh. There's a giraffe. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, oh, and look, there's a baby. Whoa, hello. <laughs> They're so tall. Well, isn't it cool how these animals are up at night while you and I sleep? Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of tired. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, all those animals are so cool. You know, so cool that some of them were nocturnal, huh? Yeah, that means they're awake at night. Yeah, when you and I sleep, they're awake. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> oh, I love reading. <laughs> okay. 
a rumble in a tummy, a common animal mood, <laughs> to grow big and strong, <sighs> they need good food. <clears throat> so open wide, <gasps> so open wide, <sighs> hope you're, so open wide, I hope you're, I hope you're hungry. Whoa! Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Eileen, and oh. I'm a wildlife care specialist. Wow, that's really cool. Well, I'm Blippi, and what are you doing? I am getting ready to make some bottles so we can feed some baby animals. Whoa, that sounds like fun. Can I help? That would be great, Blippi. Okay. If you want to make this first bottle for the spring box? Ooh, sure. So what I need you to do is to measure out 150 mils. Okay. And then put it in the bottle. Oh. Here we go, 150 in Springbok. I'm so excited to see what kind of animal that is. Okay, first, we need to measure it out. Here we go. Whoa. There we go. Oh, a little too much. Pour some out. There we go. That's exactly 150. Awesome. So, I'm gonna put it right in here. Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be a small animal. Yeah, because this bottle is really small. It is, and it's a very small amount in there. Okay, here you go. Thank you, Blippi. All right. Just put the nipple on. Okay, perfect. And what about this big bottle? <laughs> that, that's for a much bigger animal. And so this formula, we this bottle, we're going to make from scratch right wow. now. All right, how do we do it? So what you're going to do is you're going to put some, some water in the container, about 2,000 milliliters or Two liter. Okay, so looks like we have to fill it all the way to the top. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of water. I bet this animal is really big. Whoa, about halfway there. <laughs> so excited to see what animal this is. Okay, it's getting really heavy. <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, we have the water. So we're gonna mix it in this container. So you wanna pour the powder in there. Oh, the powder. Okay, so we're gonna mix the powder with the water. All right, do I pour all of this powder in there? The whole thing, yes. Okay, here it's we go. It's a big animal. All right, there we go. And then, okay, the powder's in there. Now we need to pour the water. Whoa, <laughs> spilt a little bit. That's okay. All right, there we go. All right, now do I shake it up? Shake it as hard as you can, Flippy. All right. Really good mix. Here we go. All right. That was great. Perfect. Now, do we put it in the bottle? Yes. You might need to use this though. It's a lot easier to pour. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. That smells really good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah. Here we go. All right, all right, here you go. <laughs> and then we warm them up. Oh, and after they're warm, then do we get to feed the animals? And then we get to feed the animals. But <laughs> just today, I actually have a few bottles that are already warmed up, so we can go ahead and feed them right now. All right, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I am so excited. Whoa, check it out. Whoa! <laughs> so are these the small animals? They are. Wow. It's a little bit of a variety. This yeah. is a springbok. This oh. is a bontibok. Oh, hey, This springbok. is a Nile lechwe. Okay, so it seems like there's a few different kinds there. Yes. A springbok, a monty way? A, a, a bontibok. Oh, a bontibok. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, they're so cute. Hello. And this is our older, oldest springbok. She is... Um, about six weeks old. Wow, and she looks so hungry. Which yeah, we did such a great oh. job with those bottles. Oh, whoa! let hey. me get the right bottle here. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, and do you see that one? Yeah, it has yeah. horns on its head. Whoa, is that right? That, yes. Those are horns? Those are horns, and they're just growing. Oh. And the female bontebuck has horns just like the males. But in the... Oh, wow, and do they like to eat those leaves? They love to eat the leaves. We call it browse, and this is acacia browse. Oh, 
Hey, now really when springboks are out in the wild, uh -huh. they eat grass and they eat uh, plants. Whoa. But they don't really eat trees. The bontebok loves the trees too. Okay. Wow, they look so hungry. But the one thing they all have is in common is they're from Africa. Ooh, they're from Different Africa. Parts. And can they like run fast or smell good or like jump high or anything like that? Springbok got their name because they jump very high. They, they say they can jump as high as 11 feet. They spring up in the air. Whoa! They have a very weird posture to it too. So when they're running away from someone that might be chasing them, uh -huh. they look bigger. Wow. So they spring a bit in the air, and they also have this really strange flap of skin back here oh. that when they're very excited, it will open up. Wow. <laughs> and we're not sure exactly what all the purposes are, but it might be just to attract the other the other animals. So oh, wow. It's pretty cool. <laughs> well, what a really cool animal. That was really fun. And they ate a lot of the treats that we made them from the small bottles. That's but right. But didn't we make big bottles too? We did make a big bottle. Do you want to go with me to feed something bigger? Yeah, I'd love to see a big animal. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Whoa! So those spring box were the one that drank from that small bottle. I'm so curious what animal is going to drink from this big bottle. That's going to be our friend Arthur. Do you want to give me a hand calling Arthur? Yeah! That's great. All right, I'm very excited so, to see what animal Arthur is. So all you need to do is start squeezing that. OK. He's going to come running. That's a Good silly and loud. sound. All right. Arthur, where are you? <laughs> oh, oh, here he comes. Oh, I know what boy. kind of animal Arthur is. Whoa. All right, I'll set this down now. Yeah, Arthur looks like a rhinoceros. That's right, Flippy. He's a southern white rhino. Ooh, a southern white rhino. Whoa. Hey, Arthur. Do you hear that? He <laughs> must really love the bottle that we made him. That sounds so yummy. <laughs> he sure does. Oh, and he looks a lot smaller than an adult massive rhino. Is he a baby? He is a baby. He's a little bit over a year. So he's going to be getting bottles for a little while longer, a few months. Okay. It's going to take him a while to get as big as a big rhino. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he likes some hay. Whoa, <laughs> Arthur is so cool. And that was really cool being able to help feed Arthur. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting kind of tired though. <laughs> wow, rhinoceros is so cool. Whoa! Wow! What a great morning this is! <laughs> wow! And what a great night that was. I slept so great! Yeah! Now I'm very well rested. Whoa! And wasn't that fun at the Roaring Store? Yeah! We learned so much about animals! <laughs> I love animals. Yeah! Big animals, small animals, yeah, I love big and small animals. It's so cool how some animals are awake at nighttime. Huh, yeah, while I like to sleep at nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa! There it is again. Wow, that sounds like an animal for sure. You know what kind of animal that is? Hmm. Sounds like a kitty cat. <laughs> meow. Meow. <laughs> but it definitely sounds bigger than a kitty cat. There it is again. Whoa. OK, it's a cat, but it's really big. It has a big mane around its head. You know what animal I'm talking about? Yeah, we're hearing a lion. <laughs> Do you want to act like a lion with me? Whoa! There it is again! Yeah! Wow, this was so much fun. And weren't those stories really good? Yeah! 
All right, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Yeah! Hi, and I'm Mika. Yeah, today we're at Ranch at the Pier. In Malibu, California. Yeah, <laughs> here they have a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, look at, oh, these look really yummy. Yeah, look, a really small watermelon. Yep, and here's a really small lemon. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and some really spicy peppers. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> oh. Wow, all of this produce is making me a little hungry. Yeah, me too. Oh, look. Popsicles. Yummy. Whoa, Mika. Hey. Whoa, hey, Julia. Hi, Blippi, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so what's mom and pop shop? So we sell all natural popsicles made with fresh fruits and vegetables. Ooh, that sounds good. They are. Do you want to try one? <laughs> yes, yeah. please. Oh no, I'm so sorry we just ran out. They're so popular today. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What do we do now? Let me think. I got an idea. How about we go to the ranch and pick fresh fruits and vegetables and you guys make your own popsicle. That's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Great, I'll meet you up there. Okay. Let's go. Isn't it? It's remarkable. Did you know that they rescued 150 animals and it's environmentally friendly? Wow, wow. 150 animals? That's a lot of animals. Yeah, it sure is. Yep. What does environmentally friendly mean? Well, nothing gets wasted at the ranch. So all of the vegetables that get sold at the pier, if there's any left over, they feed them to the animals and then the animals nutrients the soil and then the plants grow from the soil. Wow, cool. Very cool. Wait, so this ranch has fruits and vegetables? Hey, that's what we can use for the popsicles, right? Absolutely. So I have some baskets here where you could explore the ranch and get some fruits and vegetables okay. for your popsicles. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> but do you know who else loves vegetables? Who? The horses. What? Horses? Oh, yeah, go ahead and feed some horses while you're here. We can <laughs> feed some horses? That's so fun. Let's do it. All right, yep. see you see later. You to feed the animals. Me too. All Look right. At those beautiful horses. Wow. Hello, friend. How are you? My name's Flippy. Would you like an apple? Ooh, there a nice go. and healthy snack. All right, there you go. There's one behind you Ooh, too, there Flippy. You go. Whoa. <laughs> Look. Wow. Whoa. Do you like carrots? Oh, yeah. There you go. I think that's a yes. <laughs> oh, wow. They even have alpacas! Hey! Whoa, they're so cute! Whoa! Oh, there you go. Aww. Are those carrots yummy? Whoa! Wow, they're such healthy eaters! <laughs> yeah. Ooh. There you go. Oh, you should Still probably chewing. chew and then swallow all your food before the next <laughs> bite. <laughs> Yummy? Yeah, <laughs> I, think so. I guess so. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun feeding those animals. Yeah, <laughs> now I think we can find some ingredients to make popsicles. Oh yeah, fruits and vegetables. Oh yeah. <gasps> Libby, what? I have a great idea. What, Mika? What if we made popsicles for each other? <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, I can pick out ingredients that I know you'll like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pick out ingredients 
that you will probably like. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's right. do it. See you soon. All right. See you later, horsey. <laughs> Wow, look at how beautiful this ranch is. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this plant. This is rosemary. Ah, and it smells so good. Whoa, and rosemary is actually edible. So that means you can eat it. But rosemary, I don't think would taste very good in a popsicle. So I'm not gonna pick it. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Whoa, a lemon tree. Cool, come on. Whoa, look at these lemons. Yeah, these are just like the ones that Mika saw at the pier. Oh, maybe I should pick one. And just maybe I'll add it to the popsicle. Oh, all right, let's see. Give it a little tug. Whoa, look at it. It's so cute and small. <laughs> and these are Meyer lemons. Yeah, they have a little bit of sweetness to them. Okay, I'll put that one right there. And then uh, let's see. How about this one, right there? Oh, perfect, <laughs> yeah! Wow, I love this beautiful garden. Look at all of these plants and trees. Hmm, I wonder if I can find a fruit tree so I can pick some fruit for a popsicle for Blippi. Wait a second, here's one right here. This is a strawberry guava tree. There's different kinds of guava, but this is strawberry guava, which is really yummy. Take a look. See, it's round and kind of red. Ooh, it's so yummy. This will be the perfect ingredient for a popsicle for Blippi. Oh, I can't wait to find more fruit and vegetables. Let's go. garden. It's so amazing. Oh, and do you see this net up here and on the sides? Yeah, that keeps all the critters and the birds from eating all this delicious food. Whoa, and look at this. Do you know what this is? This is spinach. And it's so good for you. Hey, maybe this would be really good in a popsicle. Yeah, spinach a lot of times is inside salads, yummy stuff like that. But popsicles also can have spinach in it. That is so cool. All right, that's probably enough. Let's see what else is around here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is kale. Ooh, have you ever had a kale chip before? Yeah, you just take these leaves. Yeah, see that? That's a kale leaf. And then you put it in the oven. Whoa, and then it gets all crunchy. It's like a normal chip, but with kale. It's so healthy and so yummy. Hey, I bet this popsicle is gonna be the color green. Yeah, that's what we should shoot for. So then she'll have a nice, healthy, yummy popsicle. All right, one more leaf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, look at this fabulous garden. We are going to find some really good ingredients for Blippi's Popsicle. Hmm. Hey, these are beet plants. Beets are really cool because they're super healthy and they're yummy and they're really good for you. They're especially good for your heart. And they're a bright pinkish reddish color that will look really good in a Popsicle. Now they're root vegetables, so they're underground you have to hold on to the leaves and pull to get them out. Hey, look at that. A nice yummy beet for Blippi's Popsicle. Hmm. There's so many different plants here and really cool that you can eat all of them. Like this little carrot. Ha. Hmm. Oh, look. One of my favorite fruits of all time, strawberries. See if I can find one so I can show you. Ah, 
Here we go. A nice, delicious red strawberry. Strawberries are a really popular flavor of popsicles and ice cream because they're really, really sweet. Mm, should probably make sure that this is sweet enough for a popsicle. Mmm, it's perfect. Let's pick some for Blippi. <laughs> Ooh, here's a good one. Oh, this is a really good one. Oh, this will be so yummy in the popsicles. Let's go make some yummy treats. Hey, Julia, look at what I got. Yeah, and tell me all about it. Well, I got some spinach. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> I have some kale. Yeah. <laughs> and I got a lemon. Oh, what a cute lemon. <laughs> yeah, I really want to make Mika a green popsicle. That sounds amazing. There's not that many green popsicles out there, so I think you're onto something. Yeah. Here, let's get you an apron first. Oh, cool. Yeah. Check out my apron. Whoa, mom and pop shop. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Do you know any recipes we can do with a green popsicle? I do, I have one in mind. I don't think we need the lemon quite yet. Okay. But I think we could use some green apples. Ooh, yum, can I see? Yeah. Oh, check it out. Yeah, a green apple. Yeah, and do you know the other color of apples? Yeah, red. <laughs> cool. Awesome, and some green grapes. Whoa, green grapes. So yummy! <laughs> All right. And to add a little bit more sweetness, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say a ripe banana. Ooh, a ripe banana? But wait a second, it's brown. Yeah, that means it's super sweet. And oh. that's what you want in a popsicle. Oh, cool. So if your banana has a little bit of brown on it, that's okay. It's just gonna be more sweet and yummy. <laughs> yep. All I right. think it's awesome that you want to do vegetables in your popsicle. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the blender. Okay. And then we could just put all the fruits and vegetables in there. Just throw them all in. It's all a right. very powerful blender. <laughs> cool. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's that. apple. And then I'm going to add some liquid. So anytime you use a blender, you need some liquid. Okay. Or else it's not going to blend properly. Okay. All right. And what kind of liquid is that? I have some organic apple juice here. Ooh, yum. <laughs> All right. All right. So excited. I wonder if these are actually going to be green. <laughs> All right. And it's going to be pretty loud. So are you ready? All right. I'm All right. ready. Three, two, one. Whoa. Is it done? It's done. Wow. It does look green. All right. You're going to love it. Yeah. Oh, do you smell that? Mmm. <laughs> Smells so sweet. Yep. All right, okay. so now we're gonna put the mixture in this pitcher so it's easier to pour in the molds. Okay. Wow, check it out. Oh, yummy. <laughs> All right. And here are our molds. Oh, the molds. Yeah, I remember these molds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what we use in our kitchen when we have our big machine. Yeah. But today we're just making some at-home pops. So we're using oh. our nifty molds for at-home. Oh, cool, at-home pops, here we go. Hey, do you wanna count how many popsicles we can make with this with me? Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's a lot of popsicles. All right, and then we just pour it in there? Yep. Would you like to do it or sure. me? Sure. All right. I'll, I'll do five and you do five. How's okay. That sound? Okay. Can we get a little foamy? That's okay. Now I will pour five as well. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Perfect. I think be so excited to have such nutritious pops. Yeah. Okay, and that's the lid? That's the lid we put on it, and then we just put some sticks on it. Yeah, the sticks. Cool. All right, so every single one of these you mm -hmm. put a stick in? Yep. Okay. And there the great part is when you're done with your pop school, you could keep your sticks and maybe make a birdhouse or Whoa. any type of crafting. Yeah, or a marble machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> all right. So is it ready? That's all ready. Take it to the freezer. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Julia. Hi, Mika. Welcome to the kitchen. Oh, thank you so much. So, what did you find? I have some really yummy ingredients for Blippi's popsicle. I picked some strawberries. Perfect. And 
And I have some guava. Oh, how cute. <laughs> and I have beets. Beets. Yep, that's a very interesting ingredient. What do you think you're going to make? Beats me. Good one. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought all of these ingredients would look really cool. Mm -hmm. They could be a bright red or pink popsicle in the end. Yeah, they're going to look amazing. So, beets are very interesting ingredients. So, I think we're going to have to make an original here. Okay. So, first ever popsicle beet. Ooh, cool. So, let's get your apron first. Okay, thank you. And let's just start cutting them open. Okay. I think what we're gonna need to do is use our juicer for this recipe. Oh, a juicer. So have you ever seen inside of a bee? Um, I think so. Yeah? Let's see. It's a root vegetable. Yeah, I love that color. Look at that. Go ahead and smell it. Check it out. It's really cool. Hmm, it smells kind of earthy, mm -hmm. but also kind of sweet. Yeah, it's mm. gonna juice real well, so. We're just gonna turn it on. And you can throw the fruit inside. Okay. You see some like blades spinning there in the middle. Yeah. The blades move on the middle and just kind of crush everything and, and there's a sieve so it keeps um, all of the fibers inside. Whoa, look! You can see it's pushing all of the juice out of the berries right into the pitcher. That's so cool. And let's see what happens when we add the beets. Whoa. It smells yummy. Thank you. Okay. There go the beets. Look at how dark it turns. Yeah. What a pretty color. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. I can smell it already. Yes, it does. And last but not least, we have our guava. Guava. And you can just toss the whole thing in there. Wow. Okay. There it goes. Ooh, you, you hear that? The <laughs> Whoa. This is going to be yummy. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of juice. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the molds. All right, they're right here. Wow. So these are the molds we use at home. It's a lot of popsicles. Yeah. <laughs> Lippy's going to love it. Oh, yeah. Okay, can I pour? Go yeah. ahead. Okay. Try it out. All right. Might get messy. That's all of the fun. Okay, now to the freezer. And once they're done freezing, you know what we could use? We use compostable packaging. What does that so mean? These bags are compostable. So here at the ranch, you know, everything's sustainable. We don't want to leave any trash behind. So these break down easily in the trash. That's awesome. Yeah. You are being so good to the earth. <laughs> we try to. All right, I'm going to put these in the freezer. Thanks, Julia, for good your luck. help. All right. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, wasn't that fun, Mika? Yeah, that was awesome! Yeah, I'm so excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. I'm excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. Oh, all right! Let's see! Here we go! Ooh, Flippy! Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Cool color! Yeah, I really like that green! Yeah, what's in yours? Well, I made a popsicle for you from Beast guava, and strawberries. Ooh, yum. Yep. Well, I added spinach, Ooh. kale, apples, <laughs> grapes, what? and bananas. Wow, that <laughs> sounds yummy. Yeah, I bet you'll love it. Yep, let's yep. try it. All Here right. Here we go. Here you go. Thank you, Blippi. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> That's really yummy. Yum! Good Ooh. job, Mika! Yeah, you too! Wow. Thank you so much! Thank you so much! <laughs> wow! Wasn't that so much fun making popsicles with the mom and pop shop? Yeah! At Ranch at the Pier! Yeah! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Yep! Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I! -I -P -P -I. Blippi! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Julia. See you, Julia. Bye, Lippy. Bye, Mika. Thanks for coming. <laughs> hey, it's me, Lippy. And today, we get to go on this really big boat. 
Whoa! It's enormous! <laughs> yeah! I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins! <laughs> Hello! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> hey! We made it onto the boat! <laughs> yeah! And this boat is awesome! Because it's not a regular boat, this is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran. <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here. Yeah! This is a really giant net. Whoa! <laughs> but this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> so silly. This brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color, orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vents. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah. But look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hats. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend Captain Christian, and he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around. We make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah! That sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah! Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. <gasps> right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool! And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. Okay, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. <laughs> yeah, and that makes the boat go forward, and that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. <laughs> and this is a steering wheel, very important part of the boat, and it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. wanna try it? Yeah, I wanna try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> but look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car. Except this one's really big, because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa, <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west, and which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey! I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, and she's a real life marine biologist. Ooh. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi. <laughs> Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? 
My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa! That sounds really, really important. Whew. Hey, while well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals, maybe Mackenzie can help us! <laughs> yeah! Okay, well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. Uh, what's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa! Can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa, look at all his legs. <laughs> yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa, hey, let's count the Horseshoe Crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa. That's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look. It looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving. And our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them. But they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa! So if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa! <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm going to put you back in the water. Bye-bye! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! And Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa, look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, woohoo, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of those little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, what are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And, and what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve. Just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have Whoa. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm going to let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy! It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's, he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusks are snails, but they will also make their own home. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> he's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself. But he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, whoa, and it looks like he has a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Whoa. <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa! Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa! It's so big, just like the small mollusk, and it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, 
but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa! Operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah! <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It mm. is dirty. Oh. I just found this one. This one's fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. <gasps> and they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower Whoa. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins. But we're going to make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat. Because we always want to be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian! Hey, Blippi! Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah! I am so excited to see some real dolphins! <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> So Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? like they're friends. Hello, dolphins. Whoa, <laughs> this is so cool. Whoa, look, they're so close. Hello, they're swimming under the boat. Look at what we found. Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island, is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. 
These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm. Let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah. And they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup. But the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah. And they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit. Woo. <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, did you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah. He's sitting just under his mama. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. This bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Uh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa. And come here, there's even co more cool birds. Yeah, see this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say, anhinga. Well, look, a pelican! Hello, Mr. Pelican! <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So, when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, 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 I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah. And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. We'll start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we wanna make it look like the actual ocean. So we're gonna put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. One. And maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, that's just the right amount. 
And now, we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. Woo, we did it! <laughs> Look, all the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now, it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh. <laughs> All kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have, whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs in. Hmm. Yeah. Let's put in a, a sea turtle. Whoa. <laughs> So let's grab our animals, and we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa, look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Hmm, and I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye! <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think that needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa. We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We want to keep it nice and clean. So, we're going to take some of this plumber's tape and I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then, you can ask a grown-up to use scissors to make a little cut and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're going to use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water, get out. We don't want to mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape and you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa. And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa. Look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle, we saw dolphins in real life, we visited Bird Island, and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. E-L-I- P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! Bye-bye! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at the Kogan Family Aquatic Complex in San Diego, California! And guess what we get to do today? Scuba diving! <laughs> 
I just love the water! <laughs> oh, and don't forget, before getting into the water, always ask a grown-up. Hi, Blippi. Jason is a scuba instructor. Whoa. <laughs> and it looks like there's a lot of scuba equipment here. <laughs> so, Jason, what's the first thing we need to know before we go diving? Well, Blippi, the first thing we need to do is get our wetsuits on. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're wearing wetsuits. Whoa. Jason, why is it important to have a wetsuit? Well, one, we want to stay warm when we're in the water. And also, we want to protect ourselves from any stings or any animal encounters we may come across. Whoa! <laughs> this is a pretty cool wetsuit, and it has two of my two favorite colors. Yeah! Orange and blue! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, and check it out! Scuba gear! <laughs> What's all this? This is our main scuba kit. This is what we're going to use to breathe underwater. Whoa! Check it yeah. out! Look! There's a big tank on the back! Does yeah. this hold the air? This holds all the air that you're going to need underwater. Ooh. <laughs> Look, yeah. and it's the color blue. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, and what are these? These are called regulators. We always have a set of two for extra safety for you or a buddy. Oh, <laughs> one for me and one for my buddy. <laughs> my blippy buddy. Yeah. yeah. And do you see? Looks like there's a mouthpiece, right? There is. That's what we breathe the air from the scuba tank with. <laughs> Whoa! I can't wait to breathe underwater and go scuba diving. Whoa. <laughs> and what's this? This big jacket piece is what we call a BCD, a buoyancy compensator device. Whoa! A B C D. Buoyancy compensator device? <laughs> Whoa. So this helps us with our positioning in the water. So we can sink, we can float, or we can maintain buoyancy right in the middle. No way! This vest helps us sink, and it helps us float! <laughs> it takes Whoa. air from the scuba tank and inflates and deflates in the vest. Oh. If you want to try it, Blippi, hit that gray button right there. Okay, <laughs> let's try! Check it out! It's inflating and floating! And then... <laughs> It's deflating. I bet that would help us sink. <laughs> yes, it would. Oh. Well, what else are we going to need? The other thing we're going to need is our mask. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> look, I have an orange one. Hello. <laughs> this helps us see things underwater, like animals and other marine life. And it also keeps all the water out of our eyes. Oh, that would be so cool to see animals underwater while you're in the water. Ooh. <laughs> and it has a nose. <laughs> And That's the, pretty cool. <laughs> the last piece of gear that we have are fins. Ooh, check it out. These fins? help us swim in the water like a fish. <laughs> One fin, two fin. Oh, and you put these on your feet? That we do, yes. Oh yeah, look. You put your foot right in there, and then you can swim like a fish, or like a shark, or like a mermaid. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> that, it, it's very fun. Well, I think it's time we get all suited up and get in the water. Let's do it. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We're wearing scuba diving gear. Whoa, <laughs> I am so excited and ready to start swimming with the scuba gear. <laughs> but Jason, what happens if water gets in my mask? Oh, it's okay. We can get the water out of the mask really easily. Ooh. All we need to do is we put some pressure on the top of our mask. We're gonna look up real high and we're gonna blow out of our nose and that'll drain the water out the bottom. Oh, that's really handy. Uh, but what happens if water gets inside our regulator? If the regulator comes out of your mouth, we can put it back in and clear the water in it by two ways. One, we can do a big exhale like a snorkel. Whoa. Exactly. <laughs> I can do that. The other option is we can hit this button here. It's called the purge button. Whoa. And it blows air and clears that water out. <laughs> Check it out. It's called the purge button. It purges all the water out of the regulator. Whoa. <laughs> That's fun. Can we try them? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, I'll see you underwater. <laughs> Thank you. 
Can you see that? We had water in our masks and in our regulators, but we got it all out. <laughs> Great job. Whoa, this is so much fun. Oh, I feel like I could swim just about anywhere. <laughs> Are there other places you can scuba dive? Absolutely, other than a pool, all of the oceans are available for scuba diving. Oh, that sounds so amazing. Can you imagine seeing an animal in the water while you're in the water with it? <laughs> have you seen any of your favorite animals? I have, I saw a whale one time. What <laughs> a whale, a whale. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I love whales. <laughs> so in the ocean, we can see so many interesting creatures. We can see colorful fish. We can see sea lions and seals, really giant sea kelp and seaweed, and also a lot of different types of lobsters and crabs. Okay, cool. Well, I think I'd like to do a little more swimming. You think we could try some next level adventures? I think you're ready for some aqua adventures. Wanna give it a shot? Okay, aqua <laughs> adventure time! <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm so excited to go on my very own adventure. <laughs> so Jason, what are we going to do first? The first aqua adventure we're going to do is an underwater obstacle course. Ooh, an obstacle course underwater. <laughs> that sounds great. So on the bottom of the pool, there's a series of hoops, different sizes and shapes and colors, and you're going to swim through them. And to help you practice your turning, there's going to be a rope in the middle of it that you can practice turning around. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Can't wait to swim through all the colorful hoops and practice my turning. <laughs> and it's a great practice for buoyancy, right? Oh. We don't want to float too much or sink too much. So we want to be right in the middle so you can go right through those hoops. <laughs> awesome. This sounds so fun. I think I'm ready to jump in. Are you Let's, ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. See you soon. <laughs> Great job, Whoa. Flippy. Wow, did you see? I went through all the colorful hoops and did the obstacle course. <laughs> so Jason, what are we gonna do next? So the next aqua adventure we're doing is an underwater scavenger hunt. Who oh, no way, an underwater scavenger hunt? <laughs> I love scavenger hunts, but I've never done one underwater. Whoa. <laughs> so I placed a lot of colorful items on the other side of the pool. You're gonna go around and collect them and put them in the nearby black basket. Whoa, okay, well keep your eye out. We're gonna find all the colorful objects and then we're gonna put them in the black crate at the bottom of the pool. Whoa. And there's one big end, end obstacle. It's the very heavy object that I'm gonna need your help with. Whoa, that sounds super heavy. Hope we can lift it. We're gonna use a lift bag, which means we're gonna use air from our scuba tank to put into the bag and it's gonna help lift the heavy object. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds amazing. I guess we'll have to start right away. I'll see you down there. See you soon.
finished the scavenger hunt and lifted the kettlebell. <laughs> Thanks, Jason, that was so fun. <laughs> You're welcome, Blippi. You did so great today. I think you're ready. Let's hit the ocean and I'll let you explore. <laughs> no way! We get to explore the ocean? <laughs> well, I am ready. <laughs> Let's go! Let's do it. had so much fun learning how to scuba dive with you. And I sure love swimming in the pool. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> OK. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>— Me, Blippi, and today I'm at Chocolat in Leavenworth, Washington. And today, since you and I ate our vegetables, we're gonna make some chocolate and caramel. I am so excited. Let's go! Hey, who are you? Hey, Blippi, my name's Andrew. Oh. Welcome to Chocolat. Nice to meet you. What do you have here? Uh, we have all sorts of truffles and bonbons, all handmade right here on site. Wow, they look so tasty. Look at that. Oh. I just want to eat them all up. Whoa! What do you say, Blippi? Do you want to make some chocolates today? Yeah! Let's go! Wow! All of these candies look so yummy! Hey, and did you notice how all of these have different shapes? Yeah, let's check them out. Whoa, do you see this one? What shape is that? Yeah, look at it closer. Yeah! That is a square! <laughs> yeah, and it's really cool how all of these have different fillings on the inside. Ooh, look at this swirl! Wow! Yeah, what shape is this? Yeah, it's a circle! Perfect! Good job! Ooh! Wow! A sign of love! <laughs> oh, so cute! What shape is this? Yeah, it's a heart. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and these are really cool looking. Wow. Yeah, it's not a normal shape. This is a unique shape. Yeah, and this thing, yeah, this thing is unique to every single one. Yeah, this is a leaf. Yeah, every leaf has different veins and different structures and every single one looks a little bit different from each other. Whoa, look at these. These even have little pieces of gold on them. Wow. Yeah. What shape is this? Yeah, it's another leaf. <laughs> it's from a different type of tree, I'm sure. <laughs> well, they all look so yummy, but I can't eat them yet. We have some more learning to do. Yeah. Check it out! Here is the kitchen! Yeah, I am so excited to make some chocolate! Okay, first thing I need to do is put on an apron. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this is worn. Make sure that your clothes do not get dirty and sticky. <laughs> How do I look? Yeah! I look ready! <laughs> Whoa, not ready yet because we need to wash our hands. 
All right. It is very important to wash your hands if you're going to work with food, make candy. Yeah, perfect. You have to scrub them, get underneath the nails. Okay, now we get to rinse it off. All that soap. Oh, yeah. You're nice and clean. Perfect. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh, hey, look at who it is. Who are you? Hi, I'm Carissa. Oh, nice to meet you. What are you doing right here? Well, today we'll be we're making some caramels. Ooh, caramel? I love caramel. Have you ever had caramel before? Yeah, it's so yummy. Will you show us? chocolate on them. <laughs> Whoa, I love chocolate and I love caramel. So what we're gonna do is take these caramel pieces and dip them in chocolate and then sprinkle some sea salt on top. Yum! <laughs> okay, let's set that down right there. Let's take the fork. Let's grab this piece. First, you need to Dip the fork in the chocolate. Yeah, there we go. And we have a little chocolate right there. Put the caramel, dip it in, and then you start tapping. Yeah! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. All right, a little bit more. Okay, you don't want too much chocolate on that or else it'll be a goopy mess. So, put it down just like that. Oh, not the best, but not too bad for my first one. And then let's sprinkle some salt right on top. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. That was fun. I am so excited to try these later. How do those look? I think they look yummy! 
dummy. to sprinkle on top, put it on the inside, and then when it cools, we get to eat them. <laughs> okay, first let's uh, make a healthy one, okay? So how about let's take some of these almonds. Okay, and then we have some cherries right here. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> it's like decorating, but decorating with food. And then, how about some pistachios? Yeah, pistachios is another type of nut. Yeah, that one looks like a yummy and pretty healthy chocolate bar <laughs> with nuts and fruit. <laughs> All right, okay, how about another one? This one, let's, uh, yeah, I think we should have some marshmallows. I love marshmallows. <laughs> okay, now we can use some peanut butter chips and sprinkle them on top. Yum, this is gonna be so yummy. <laughs> All right, and then let's use a little bit of pretzels. Wow, this is so much fun. All right, there we go, and one more, perfect. And then let's do a couple banana chips. Have you ever had a banana before? Yeah, banana is a type of fruit. Yeah, they're pretty yummy. And banana chips are really yummy too. All right, that one looks good. So let's do the last one. Let's have some fun and put some colorful sprinkles on it. All right, here we go. Okay, now we're gonna need to put it in the fridge to cool down. There we go. <laughs> yeah! Wow, that was so much fun decorating those chocolate bars with you. <laughs> Well, now we need to wait some time to let the chocolate cool. Hmm. What do we do? Okay, I think that's enough time. So let's go get the chocolate bars. Whoa, look at them, wow. Okay, now let me knock them out. All right, so here we go. Whoa, look at them, they're perfect. All right, here is the first one. Wow, it looks so yummy. <laughs> then here is the second one. Whoa. Wow, <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh no, I broke it. Oh, that's okay, it's still gonna taste just as good. I am so excited to eat these. <laughs> yeah. Wow, check it out. Yeah, we did such a good job. Whoa, check out this room. Looks like they have a lot of boxes in here. With some ribbons, ooh, a bunch of stickers. Wow. Oh, hey, look at who it is. Hey, who are you two? I'm Tilly. I'm Molly. Oh, nice to meet you two. What are you two doing? We're boxing up some chocolates. Oh, can I see? Sure. <laughs>
did you see how they put the rest of the chocolates in the base? And now they're putting the tops on. Check it out. Do you see what they're doing now? Yeah, now that the boxes are fully enclosed, now they're tying ribbons all around it to make it look pretty. <laughs> they did such a great job boxing up this box of chocolates. Do you like it? Yeah, it's so yummy. But hey, this is the end of this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. Now it's time to eat some chocolates. <laughs>me Flippy and today you and I get to go to a theme park <laughs> yeah and not just any theme park but fun spot America in Orlando Florida <laughs> hmm I wonder what rides we get to ride today well I know one thing all the rides are gonna be super fast <laughs> come on let's go This ride is called the Sea Serpent. Do you know what kind of ride this is? It's a roller coaster! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, roller coasters are awesome because they go so fast. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get on. Whoa, check it out. You see this? Look, the Sea Serpent has scales on it, kind of like a dragon. <laughs> Whoa, and there are so many different seats we can find. We could sit in the front, one, Two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, mm, let's sit in number three. Whoa, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Ooh. And remember, when you're riding a ride, safety first. We wanna make sure we have a bar so we're nice and safe. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to ride. <laughs> Whoa, bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. We rode on the sea serpent. <laughs> Ooh, let's go find another ride. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here at the teacups. <laughs> you and I are gonna have a tea party. <laughs> a dizzy tea party. Whoa. <laughs> but before we get on the ride, we need to make sure that we're tall enough. Okay? Hmm. <laughs> it looks like we are good to go. Okay, let's get on. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Whoa, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. When I turn the steering wheel, whoa, I can spin. <laughs> here we go. On to the next ride. Ribbit, ribbit, <laughs> check it out. We're here at the Frog Hopper, where 
we get to hop like a frog. <laughs> Will you hop like a frog with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> yeah, on this ride, we're gonna go really high, then hop. <laughs> Woo! And we can ride with all these different frogs. There's Joe, he's the color red. Ruby is the color green. Andy is the color blue. <laughs> Destiny is the color pink. Bob is the color yellow. And Sarah is the color green. <laughs> well, I think it's about time we ride the frog hopper. Okay, I'm gonna get in. <laughs> Ooh, I think I'm gonna ride with Joe. Whoa, okay, I'm all buckled up. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, I'm up so high. Hello. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> look at me hopping. <laughs> a ribbit, a ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I can see my house from here. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Unica. <laughs> Whoa! We did it. We rode the frog hopper. Whoa! Check it out. We're here at the fun slide, <laughs> and it sure looks like a lot of fun. And this isn't just one slide, it's three slides. Yeah, one that's pink, one that's yellow, and <laughs> whoa, one that's the color blue. Whoa, and what's this? Hmm, it looks like a sack. <gasps> oh, no way. I bet if we ride the slides with a sack, we will go extra fast. <laughs> okay, I am so excited to go fast down the slide. I'll see you at the top. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoa, we're up so high. <laughs> okay, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm leaping like a leaf frog. Like a leaf frog Like a leaf frog Woo! 
It looks like we're the next in line. <laughs> I'm so excited because we get to ride the happy swing. <laughs> yeah, it's like a regular swing, except this swing is huge. <laughs> Come on, let's go on. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big and it's so colorful. Wow, this swing is orange. <laughs> One of my two favorite colors. Ooh. And now we're nice and safe with this bar. I think we're ready to start to swing. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here at White Lightning, another amazing ride here at Fun Spot. But I wonder what kind of ride it's going to be. Hmm. Maybe it's a spinning ride like the teacups. Woo! <laughs> Whoa. Or maybe it's a swing ride like the happy swing. Woo! <laughs> or maybe it's like the frog hopper and it's a hopping ride. <laughs> Whoa! Well, I don't know, but let's take a closer look to find out. Come on, follow me. I think it's this way. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're about to get on white lightning. And I know what kind of ride this is. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> a wooden roller coaster that looks really, really, really fast. <laughs> I can't wait to ride it. Let's go take a seat. Ooh. Oh, but before we get on the ride, we want to make sure we're really safe. Safety first. <laughs> okay, so first we want to buckle up our seat and pull it tight. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Oh, and then make sure we have a lap bar so we're nice and secure. And then make sure your hands stay inside the vehicle at all times so you stay safe too. <laughs> okay, this looks like it's gonna be super fast and super fun. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to go. Woohoo! <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> And I had so much fun with you today here at Fun Spot America. Woohoo! <laughs> we rode so many rides, they were so fun and colorful. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> B L I P P I, Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. I think we can ride one more time. Okay, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy! And today we're here at Silicon Beach Pediatric Dental in Culver City, California. <laughs> 
This is the dentist's office, and today I'm going in for my checkup. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I am so excited to get my teeth clean. <laughs> yeah! Here at the dentist, the dentist makes sure your teeth and your gums and your whole mouth stay super healthy and clean. <laughs> well, I brush my teeth and I floss two times a day. But it's good to go to the dentist for a checkup and a cleaning <laughs> to keep your teeth extra clean <laughs> and extra healthy. <laughs> hi, Blippi. I'm Dr. Ray. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Are you ready for the tooth party? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. You said tooth party? Tooth party. I love parties. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. I'm ready for the tooth party. Whoa, and who's this? This is Danny the Dinosaur. Oh, hello, Danny. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like Danny has some teeth. Hmm. Is Danny going to get his teeth clean today? We're going to use Danny to teach you how to brush your teeth. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Hmm. So if you look, Danny has teeth just like you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. And we have this toothbrush so we can learn how to brush our teeth. Whoa, look, that's a really big toothbrush. <laughs> well, probably because Danny has some really big teeth. <laughs> And when you brush your teeth, you have teeth on the top and teeth on the bottom. You have teeth on the left and teeth on the right. And when you brush, you have to make sure you brush the outside and the inside. So let's do a little brushing with Danny. Okay. I like to count to 10 when I brush teeth. So in the front, we'll count to 10. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Whoa. And are you done? No, because you've got to brush the back ones too. The back teeth are called molars. So Whoa. let's brush our molars. Whoa. So in the back, you got to brush the outside and the inside. You got to brush the top ones and the bottom ones. And don't forget about the right side. Whoa. We're going to brush those too. And Dr. A, you said the back teeth, those are called molars? Back teeth are called molars. Oh, and what are the front teeth called? The teeth in the front are called incisors. Incisors. Ooh, <laughs> try saying that with me. Incisor. Whoa, <laughs> good job. Wow. So after you've brushed, you still have one more thing to do that's really important, and that's flossing. <laughs> yeah. So don't forget to floss because the sugar bugs like to hide in between your teeth. Ooh, the sugar bugs. <laughs> you want to make sure you floss those out. <laughs> so when you take your floss, you go in between the teeth very carefully, very gentle, mm -hmm. and you clean all the food from in between your teeth. So oh. don't forget to floss. Oh, and does that help keep your gums healthy? It keeps your gums healthy, it keeps your teeth healthy, and it keeps you from getting any cavities. Whoa, that's great. Yeah, you don't want cavities, so you want to remember to brush and floss. <laughs> And part of going to the dentist today, Blippi, is we're going to count your teeth. So we're going to use Danny, and he's going to show us what I see as the dentist. So you can see too. Ooh. So we're going to count Danny's teeth on the top. Let's do it together. Okay. This is the dentist mirror, and we're going to count here. Count with me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10! <laughs> yeah, whoa, good job. <laughs> so Danny <Whoa. laughs> has 10 teeth on top. Whoa, that's a lot of teeth. <laughs> whoa, that's so cool. And now Danny has a really nice smile. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Now that I'm sitting down, I'm ready to get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> so Blippi, we're gonna brush your teeth, but first I'm gonna show you everything we're gonna do before we do it. Oh, that's great, thank you. So this is the thirsty straw. This drinks the water. Ooh, but yeah. when you turn it on, it makes a little air noise. So it's not scary, it's just a little air. You wanna to touch it? Yeah, you hear that? Ooh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then to rinse your teeth, we have the water squirter. This is the water squirter and it squirts a little water. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> whoa. <laughs> and then for brushing teeth, we have the Profi motor. This is like an electric toothbrush. And if you whoa. feel it, it's really soft. Oh, yeah, it's so squishy. And you said this is called a Profi motor? A profi motor. Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, just like a toothbrush. <laughs> and when you turn it on, it makes a little motor noise and it tickles your finger. <laughs> so feel it, it's soft. Whoa, <laughs> it's so ticklish. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> so before we start, you get to pick what flavor toothpaste you want. Ooh, we get to pick the flavor. Hmm, but what flavor should we pick? It looks like 
Watermelon, candy, chocolate, cake or cupcakes, <laughs> grape, and mint. Hmm. I think I'll go with mint. Hmm. <laughs> so now we're gonna lean the chair back. It's just like going on a spaceship, and we're gonna Whoa. count your teeth, and then we're gonna brush your teeth. Whoa! Feel like I'm getting ready for takeoff. Three, two, one! Teeth brushing takeoff! <laughs> Whoa. So this is my mirror, and we're gonna use it to count your teeth just like we did Danny's. Oh, okay. Do you wanna start on the top or the bottom? Hmm, let's do the bottom teeth. <laughs> let's count the bottom, open big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Looks great, Blippi. Whoa, fourteen teeth on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Now let's count the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen on the top. Great Whoa. job, Blippi. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Fourteen on the bottom and fourteen on the top. Hmm, that means twenty-eight teeth? Twenty-eight teeth. Actually, Blippi, if you include the wisdom teeth, you have 32. That's Ooh, great. That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> so this is the electric toothbrush, and now we're going to brush your teeth. Ooh, this is going to be fun and really minty. <laughs> and here's your toothpaste. <laughs> oh. And we're going to brush your teeth. Oh, check it out. Yeah, the toothpaste comes in a little cup right there. Whoa. So the electric toothbrush scoops up the toothpaste. And then we can brush your teeth. Here we go. Uh. Blippi, remember, part of taking care of your teeth and avoiding cavities is eating healthy. So you always want to eat lots of healthy things like fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Don't eat a lot of sticky things because the sugar bugs like that. And remember, when you're thirsty, always drink lots of water. Great job, Blippi. How do your teeth feel? Whoa, they feel so clean. Yee! <laughs> okay, that's it for the cleaning. Your teeth look great. Oh, well, thank you for cleaning my teeth, yeah. And they also feel clean. They feel great. <laughs> so no cavities today. You have 28 teeth, and they look beautiful. Oh, thanks, yeah. It's good that I don't have cavities. But what is a cavity? A cavity is a hole in your teeth, and they're caused by sugar bugs. Sugar bugs in my teeth? <laughs> we all have little bacteria that live in our mouths, and some of them are called sugar bugs. Ooh. And sugar bugs like to make a hole in your teeth. Oh. So that's why you brush every day. You don't just brush the food off your teeth, but you clean all the sugar bugs too. Whoa, that's really important to brush and floss all those sugar bugs away. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> there are so many colorful toys here. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Dr. Ray, do I get to pick one of these? Blippi, you did a great job today, so you get to pick a toy. Whoa. <laughs> we have balls, ice cream cones, airplanes, and a bunch of other great things. What do you want to get? Hmm, I don't know. Well, look, <laughs> these sure are colorful. Whoa, and look, a really squishy soccer ball. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty fun. Whoa, and look at this. Whoa! Oh, look, it's a toy snake. Whoa! <laughs> look at him go! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, mm, he's pretty cool. Mm. Ooh! I think I'm gonna choose the blue ice cream cone. And I have one more special thing for you, Blippi, so you can take care of your teeth at home. I have a toothbrush and some toothpaste and some floss for you, so you can do it every day. Whoa! No way! My very own toothbrush. Toothpaste and floss. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and look, it's also the color blue. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for cleaning my teeth 
and for making sure they were nice and healthy. <laughs> Thank you, Blippi. You were so brave. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't have any cavities. Woohoo! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. See you in six months, Blippi. Ooh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll have to come back in six months for another checkup. Whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Nobody wants a toothache. So wet your toothbrush and get your toothpaste. Put on a dab about the size of a pea. Now get your toothbrush ready and follow me! Let's pretend to brush our teeth for two minutes. <laughs> make sure you brush your teeth really well. Let's make some circles, 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 circles. Circles on all sides of your teeth. Circles on this side, circles on that. Circles on the top where you chew on snacks. Gotta get rid of all that black. There are germs living in your mouth. Gotta get them out! And that's why we brush our teeth. Come on, brush those teeth. Go on, scrub them. Pretending to brush. Let's make some more circles, 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 circles. Circles on all sides of your teeth. Brushing makes your breath smell super nice. Gotta make your smile as white as rice. Oh, I love brushing my teeth. Oh, don't forget to brush your gums. And don't forget your tongue! Bah. Now we are almost done! Let's brush front, back, side to side! Front, back, and side to side! Everybody! Front, back, side to side! Front, back, and side to side! Come on, brush those teeth! Go on, scrub them! to floss too. <laughs> hey! I had so much fun at the dentist today. <laughs> yeah, we learned so many things about teeth. <laughs> and I even got my teeth cleaned and looked at by the dentist. <laughs> oh, and Dr. Ray, he was so nice and friendly. <laughs> Whoa, and look, I even got some things to take home. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey! You spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> Don't forget to brush and floss every single day. <laughs> see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>me hey, Blippi. And did you see what I was just doing? Yeah, I was jumping. Woohoo! <laughs> and look at where I'm at today. Yeah, today I'm at Sky Zone Indoor Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. And there's a lot of trampolines in there. You know what you do on a trampoline? Yeah, you jump! Woohoo! Let's go have some fun! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Hey, welcome to Sky Zone. I'm Quincy. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Yeah. How do we get started? So to get started today, we got to pick from a rainbow of wristbands. Whoa, cool. Look how colorful they are. Looks like we have some orange, yellow, blue, red, green, and pink wristbands. Um, can I do a blue wristband, please? Of course, Blippi. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do that arm. That arm? <laughs> Yeah. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'm so excited. <laughs> What's next? What's next is you get to pick from any of these socks right here. Whoa, cool. There's so many colorful socks back there. I wonder which ones he's going to grab. 
I know your favorite color is blue and orange, so I had to get you the very special ones right here. Yeah! All right. We have some blue socks and some orange socks. Well, since I have a blue wristband, maybe I'll do some orange socks. Yeah, is that okay? That's a great decision. All right. Am I ready? You're all ready. I'm gonna meet you up here in just a minute and we're gonna go have some fun. All right. Yeah, let's go. you see that? Wow, Quincy, that was awesome. Oh, I appreciate it, Blippi. Whoa, what is this place? Oh, this is our dunk course right here. This is where we get to have all of our fun with the basketball. We get to dunk like we're Kobe or Michael. We get to have fun right here. Cool, that sounds like so much fun. Looks like there's a trampoline and then there's a basketball hoop and then you jump and you dunk. Whoa, can you teach us how to do it? Of course I can, so it's real simple. First off, you gotta get a few jumps in okay. and then you gotta get a lot of air and then at the very last minute, you're gonna punch it through the rim. All right, let's check this out. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. Yeah, Quincy, do you mind if I try? Go ahead, Blippi. All right, here we go. So I need to jump some, need to get some air, and then I need to dunk. Here I go. Yeah, I made it! Woohoo! That was awesome. It felt like I was just flying in the air. Whoa! All right, what do you do next? Well, Blippi, once you get good with it, you can put a little flair to it, a little flavor. Wow. All right, let's check it out. Ah! Whoa! Did you see that? He spun and then put the ball under his legs and then he dunked. Wow. All right, think you can match? Um, I could probably do a trick, but maybe not that good, but I'll try. All right, here we go. Oh yeah! like a rock wall. That indeed it is, Blippi, that indeed. Wow, what are we gonna do here? Well, we're gonna race each other to the top and hit these red buttons here. Oh, all right, how many times? Uh, I think we're gonna hit them two times today. Two times? Okay, so we have to go up, hit it, down, up, hit it, and then whoever lands first wins, right? Yes, sir. All right, have you ever done this before? Uh, it's been a very long time, but uh, I'm excited to do this. All right, me too, and I think I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go to our starting marks. Okay, are you ready? I am, are you? Yep, on your mark, mark get set, set go! go. Walls are slippery today. Oh. Yeah! Whoa. Wow, good job! Oh man. <laughs> Looks like I won that one, but you were going really fast. So are you, Blippi. Oh, thank you. That was tricky. Do you have any other competitions we can do? Oh, I got plenty for us. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Woo yeah, check it out. I'm jumping on a trampoline. Woohoo! Whoa, I love jumping on trampolines. Yeah, it's a great way to exercise and have <laughs> oh, look, wow, so many colorful balls. Wow, check it out. Ooh, check out the colors. Looks like we have an orange ball, a red ball, a blue ball, a purple ball, a green ball, and a yellow ball. Ooh, they're really soft and squishy. Wow. 
How many balls do you see here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, six balls. What kind of balls are these? Wait a second. Soft, squishy balls, trampolines. Now it looks like we're in an arena. Oh yeah, this is a dodgeball arena. Wow, I love dodgeball. <laughs> oh. I found you. Yeah, yeah, I actually found the dodgeball arena. Oh, that, that you did, that yeah. you did. Have you ever played dodgeball before? I'm a goat at dodgeball. Really? I'm a goat. Wow, well, I'm actually not too bad myself. <laughs> Do you want to play dodgeball? Let's get into it, Blippi. All right. How you play dodgeball is you take these softballs, throw them at your opponent. <laughs> if you hit them and they don't catch it, you get a point. But if they catch it, you have one point less than what you did. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's set them up. All right, are you ready? I'm ready, you ready? I'm ready too. On your mark, get set, go! Whoa! Did? Yeah, you're really good. Wow, do you have any other fun games we can compete together with? I got plenty for you, Blippi. I got plenty. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like an obstacle course. It most definitely is, Blippi. Wow, are you good at obstacle courses? I'm pretty good at obstacle courses, are you? I'm pretty good. Wow, I am pretty fast. How do you do this one? Well, this one starts off really simple. You just bound across these half circles right here, and then you're gonna go all the way to the end, loop back, and finish right back here. Wow, so it's like a race, and I think I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm pretty ready, are you? I'm ready. You should start, okay? I'll start, yeah, right. I'll start. All right, okay, on your marks, get set, go! Come on, Quincy, you got it! You got it, come on, a little faster, faster, faster. Whoa, nice swing. Whoa, yeah, he's really fast. Whoa. Woo, 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 woo. Whoa, he's gonna be tough to beat. <laughs> yeah, Quincy, yeah. Wow, that was really fast. Good job. Oh, thank you, Blippi. Wow, was it hard? Oh, it was a little hard, but I think you got it. All right, I'm ready. Is it my turn? Yes, sir, it is. All right, you want to start me? I got you. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay, Blippi, I see you. I see you, Mr. Blippi. <laughs> Real strong out there, Blippi. Good work. Come on, Blippi. Let's go. Let's go, Blippi. Oh, he's gonna beat me, man. He's gonna. He, he's gonna have me beat. Come on, Blippi. Keep it going, man. Oh. Ooh, come on, Blippi. Let's go, Blippi. Come on, Blippi. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I did pretty fast. You went pretty fast, Blippi. And. I won! Congratulations, wow. Blippi. Wow, you did so good too, yes, sir. I appreciate it, man. That was a close one. It was really close there at the end. Wow, and thank you so much for competing with me. It was oh. a very friendly competition today. Of course, it's been my pleasure competing with you. It's always good to have somebody that can compete with me. Yeah, well, it's very nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too, Blippi, but I gotta get back to work now. All right, see you later. See you, man. Bye-bye. Wow, that was so much fun competing with him. He did so good today. Yeah, and the most important thing though was we had fun. <laughs> well, I should probably get some water. I'm very thirsty. It's important to hydrate. <laughs> Whoa, 
Whoa! Perfect! Yeah! Yeah, hydrating after exercise is very important. It's very hot right now, but when I drink this water, it'll help me cool back down. Mmm. And it's very tasty. Wow! What a fun day that was. It's very healthy to exercise. And competing was awesome. I love competing, and it's okay to lose. Yeah, I even lost today, remember? Yeah, the cool thing about losing is it just makes you want to get better and better. And when you compete, it'll make you better. Practice makes you better. <laughs> All right, shall we have some more fun? Yeah! <laughs> Love jumping and dancing. Hey, you jump along with me? Jump, 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 so very high. Jump, 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 into the sky. Jump, 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 and clap, clap, clap. Jump, 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 it's so much fun. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, 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 so very high. Jump, 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 into the sky. Jump, 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 and spin around. Jump, 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 it's so much fun. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, 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 so very high. It sure was. That place was awesome. Having those big trampolines, being able to jump really high in the air. Yeah. Jumping in the foam pits. Whoa, so soft. And it was really cool how it had my two favorite colors all around in there. Blue and orange. Yeah, good job. Wow. And remember how I took a drink of water? Yeah, it's really important to hydrate when you're doing really active things like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. Stay active, stay hydrated, and have some fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa! Aloha! It's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Today, I'm on Oahu, which is an island of Hawaii. Wow, isn't it beautiful here? Yeah, the trees are so green, there's so much green grass, and the shrubs and trees look so happy. Whoa! Hey, wouldn't it be really cool to see what this beautiful place looks like really high in the sky? Yeah! Why don't today we ride a helicopter and see what it looks like? And actually, Magnum Helicopters here on Oahu is coming here to give me a ride. Yeah, I'm so excited. Do you hear it? Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is right there. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa it's so high. Whoa, hang up there. Whoa. Wow, I am so excited. I bet everything is going to look really small from up there. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's landing! Oh! All right. Wow, I'm so excited. All right, now that the rotors are stopped, why don't we go say hi? <laughs>
Whoa, that was really cool! Hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Doug. I'm the chief pilot at Magnum Helicopters. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Wow, this is a very cool helicopter. Whoa, how long have you been flying helicopters for? I've been flying for 20 years. Wow, 20 years? That's a very long time. Do you know how many hours you have flying helicopters? I have over 5,000 hours. Whoa! Now that is a lot of hours. Whoa, do you mind if I take a closer look at your helicopter? Not at all. Wow, come on! Whoa, what a colorful helicopter. It's the color orange. Ooh, and yellow. Ooh, and brown. Whoa! Hey, Doug, what's this thing for? That's just a step so the passengers can climb up into the helicopter. Oh, cool! Oh, yeah, and it looks like there's some seats back here. Ooh, and some seats up here. Whoa, how many people can fly in this helicopter? Oh, uh, the pilot can bring four people with him if he wants. Wow, cool, and what kind of helicopter is this? This is an MD-500. Wow, MD-500. Whoa, and up there, I know what those are. Those are the rotors, right? That's right. Wow, and what does this rotor do? So the rotor, it spins around like a big fan and it blows the air down, creates lift, then lifts the helicopter up off the ground. Oh, cool. So this main rotor creates lift, so then the helicopter can fly. And there's another rotor back here that I know. Can we check it out? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. And this rotor is called the tail rotor. Whoa. Cool. And what does this do, Doug? This can spin the helicopter left and right so it can face any direction that we want it to. All right. So the main rotor creates the lift, and then this rotor yeah, makes the helicopter turn. Really cool. Oh, and I know what that is. That's the boom, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. And is this the number and letters of this exact helicopter? Yes, sir. They call it the tail number. Tail number. And I have a fun thing for us to do. Do you mind saying this with me at the same time? All right. All right, let's do it. N, N three, five, seven, M, H. M -H. Wow, awesome. Whoa, what's this, Doug? Oh, this is the engine back here. You oh, want to see? Right. Yeah, I'd love to. All right, this is going to be so cool seeing the engine of a helicopter. Whoa, come check it out. Whoa, I'm going to be very careful because it might still be hot. Oh, it looks very complicated. Whoa, and back here, look how dirty it looks. This must be the exhaust. Whoa, thank you so much for letting us check out the engine of that helicopter. Whoa, can You're we welcome. check out the front? Yes, sir. All right. Come on hey, this way. Wait a second, I know what these are. These are landing skids, right? Mm-hmm. Wow, why are they so unique looking compared to an airplane? They have wheels and tires, right? Right, an airplane has wheels because it has to land moving forward on a runway and has to slow down. But a helicopter can slow down before it lands on the ground and actually go straight down. Wow, cool. So helicopters can go many, many places because they can land and take off completely vertical like that. Oh, cool. Whoa, and this is where you sit? Yes, it is. On this side? Mm-hmm, that's oh. the pilot seat right there. Oh, cool. Ooh, and what's this called? This is called the collective. Oh, collective. I remember that. That's what controls the vertical lift, right? Right, makes the helicopter go up and down. Oh, cool. And this is the cyclic? Yes. And what do you use that for? That can steer the helicopter. Oh, cool. And look at all those gauges. What are all those gauges for? Oh, well, we have gauges to keep an eye on uh, the engine, also how high we fly and how fast we're flying. Wow, they look very complicated. <laughs> you must be very smart. <laughs> wow, and there's different types of helicopters, right? Mm hmm. Like firefighting helicopters, like rescue helicopters, or police helicopters. And what do you say this is? This is an air tour helicopter. Ooh, an air tour. Well, perfect. I was actually thinking I could go for a ride around here. Oh, and this would be a great helicopter for it. Because do you see the doors? No, you don't, because there's no doors. <laughs> do you mind if we go for a spin? That'd be great. All right, where should I sit? I'll come around here, hop in the front seat with me. All right, <laughs> cool. Whoa, so just climb on in? Sure, climb on up. All right, <laughs> cool. Whoa, it's so high up here. Wow, so cozy. How do I get, get started? Well, let's put your seatbelt on. Make sure it's nice and tight. 
Okay, just like in a car, gotta buckle up. All right, all right, now what? Now take that orange headset right there, put that on so we can talk to each other. Oh, cool. Yeah, orange is one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> all right. Hello, hello. So are you gonna wear one too? Yes, I will. All right, let's do this. I'm so excited. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, here we go. Wow, it feels so cool to be flying. Whoa, look at those trees to the left. Oh, they're so green. Whoa, check this out. That is a big mountain. Do you see how steep it is? Wow, it goes straight up and down. Whoa, let's head to the ocean. Whoa, check it out. That looks like a small town next to the ocean. Wow, wouldn't it be nice to live there? <laughs> Whoa, and look over there. There's that big mountain we saw from the ground. Wow, it is so cool how there's trees at the very tippy top of it. Wow, now that is some blue water. Wow, Doug, you are such a great pilot. You brought me all the way out to the ocean. Wow, isn't the ocean so vast? I bet there's a lot of sea creatures that live out here. Wow, look at the top of the mountain. Do you see that town down there? Wow, I bet they have some pretty views. Not like views like these though. It's like we're a bird. Kaka! <laughs> this is so beautiful. Now that is a deep valley. Whoa, and the beaches stretch for so long. Whoa, <laughs> you can't even see rocks on these mountains. They're totally covered by trees and bushes and grass. I bet there's some animals that live in here. Whoa, check out that waterfall. It is so tall. Wow, it looks like the water starts from the top and falls all the way down to the bottom. Wow, cool. This is so beautiful. It's like I'm a bird just flying anywhere and everywhere I want to go. Well, <laughs> wherever, Doug, you want to take me. <laughs> Whoa, the sun is coming out. This is so beautiful. Wow, I bet we could get a suntan today. Hey, Doug, thank you so much for flying so safe. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa, look at this. I can see beach, I can see farmland, I can see mountains. Wow, Oahu is such a special place and so beautiful. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, it looks like something's in the water. Oh, I know what that is. That's coral. <laughs> yeah, they're actually living organisms and they look so cool from the air. Whoa, look at all these instruments and gauges. They are very hard to read, but they tell the pilot very important information. Wow, look at Doug use that cyclic so then we can fly real safe. Whoa, what are these things? They're circles, but wait a second. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is a sandbar. Yeah, that's just sand underneath the water, but just, just a little bit underneath the water. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. This is the University of Hawaii's island. This is where they study a lot of cool things like marine life, creatures and plants. It's really cool. Oh, there's the patch of ground that we took off from. Oh, I bet Doug is gonna land right here. Whoa, oh, this was so much fun. Wow, and now we're back safe on the ground. Wow, that was so much fun. Thanks for the ride, Doug. You're welcome, Blippi. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, let's get out of here. He has another tour to go on. Oh, <laughs> that was so much fun, wasn't it? I know. Wow, we got to see a lot of cool things. We got to see that waterfall. Whoa, that water looks so fresh. Oh, and all that coral. Yeah, at the beach. 
Wow, I sure do love Hawaii. Wow, what a beautiful place. See it spinning up? Wow. And weren't those mountains really tall? They're way taller when you're up in the high sky, huh? Whoa, they're spinning so fast. <laughs> I hope the next tour, they have a great time. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa I sure do love Hawaii, and I loved learning how helicopters work with you. Whoa. Well, if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? It's me, Blippi, and today we are here at Cambridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> and I want to get some healthy exercise. Hey, why don't we play some basketball? I love basketball. Come on. <laughs> I am so excited to be playing basketball with you today. <laughs> yeah, I love basketball. <laughs> but I'm especially excited because this isn't a regular basketball court. It's a special one because the Indiana Fever practice here. <laughs> yeah, and look at their logo. Whoa, it is so colorful. <laughs> we have the color red, the color blue, the color white, and the color yellow! <laughs> Whoa! But do you see what I see? <laughs> yeah! It's the basketball hoop! Come on! Whoa! Look at it! <laughs> I can't believe we are so close to a basketball hoop that is shot at by the Indiana Fever! <laughs> oh, look! We have the hoop and the net, which hangs down, and Look at the rectangle behind it. Yeah, the rectangle. That's called the backboard. And the shot clock. Woo! <laughs> I really want to play some basketball and make three pointers and layups. Whoa! It's professional basketball player Tamika Catchings. Hi, Tamika. Hi, I'm Blippi. Aw. <laughs> oh. Wow. Would you like to play basketball together? I would love to play basketball with you. Whoa, that would be so awesome. <laughs> but Tamika, is there anything we should do before we start playing? Of course, we need to stretch. Okay, let's start stretching. <laughs> well, what kind of stretches do you like to do before you play a game? Well, I always like to start off with my legs. Hey, I want to get my leg formed up, and then I want to get my arm formed up. So let's start with a, a short stretch, a small stretch. We'll have both of our legs together, feet together. Okay. And we're gonna bend over from our waist okay. and try to touch the floor. Try to go as low as you can go. Whoa, look, I'm touching my toes. <laughs> and I love to count because counting is so important. So let's count to three. Okay, will you count to three with us? Okay, here we go. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> Whoa. Shake it out, shake it out. All right. Well, good job stretching. <laughs> Play defense. Your legs have to be spread apart, a little bit beyond shoulder width apart. Bend your knee and your arms out. All right. And your bottom half. Here we go. You ready for this? I'm ready. Flippy, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Here Whoa. we go. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna go side to side. Let me get over. We're gonna go okay. side to side. Here we go. Cross the paint. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, let's go one more time. Three, whoa! <laughs> Three defensive slides, that was awesome! <laughs> I think we're just about ready to learn more about playing basketball. <laughs> but is there anything else we're missing? Well, looking at our outfit, 
We need to get changed. <laughs> you ready for this? I'm ready. Here we go! Whoa, Tamika, you look great. You look amazing. Whoa, <laughs> we look all ready to play with the basketball. <laughs> Whoa, well, what should we do first? Well, I think we should. We'll start with dribbling, then we'll go to passing, and then we will finish with shooting. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I love shooting. Woo! I like Swish. that form, Libby. I like that form. Uh -huh. Okay, so how should we dribble? Well, I think the most important thing, when you start with dribbling, you have to use your finger pad, not your palm, but your finger pad, all right? <laughs> so we're gonna do three dribbles with our right hand using our finger pad. Snap your wrist. You ready for this? Let's do it. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa! And we did it with our right hand, so now we should try it with our left hand. <laughs> okay. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Great. Oh, I love those dribbles. Okay. Love dribbling. You want to try something a little bit fancy? Yeah. Well, let's try something really fancy. All right. <laughs> we're going to do this really fast, but we're going to do crossovers. So we're going to not just keep it in one hand. We're going to go from one hand to the other hand, other hand, other hand. Okay. We'll try it. Five times. Five times. Five times. <laughs> okay. Five times. Here we go. Ready? One. Four, five. Good job, Blippi. Whoa! <laughs> Dribbling is so fun. Now it's time to move on to passing. I'm ready. All right, I'm going to step, step, bounce. Whoa. Step, bounce. Good job, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. <laughs> and notice when you dribble or when you bounce the ball, it does not bounce right directly in the middle. It's a little bit beyond the middle part. All right, so. Okay. Got to come right up. Boom. One more, Blippi. One more. Good Whoa, job. That yeah. was fun. Go at this. And pass. <laughs> OK, here we go. Step and pass over our head. <laughs> Good job, Blippi. Whoa, I like this one. <laughs> you do. Why do you like this pass? It's really fun. <laughs> Feels like there's a lot of power in your arms when they're above your head. And you can and pass it really you have far. have big muscles, too. So <laughs> that is. Our overhead pass. Wow. So we did dribbling and we did passing. Hmm. What else did we forget? And we did defense. And defense. Shooting. Oh. <laughs> How can we forget shooting? Ooh, ooh, look at that form. <laughs> All right. So I always like to say when I come to the gym, I want to start close. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start kind of close. All right. Just getting the form together. Same thing. You talked about the finger pads on the dribble. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to do the same thing when we shoot. All right, so on the pad. Whoa! In the hoop. <laughs> Swish! <laughs> Didn't even use the backboard. Well, we're kind of close, so this is all about form shooting and okay. getting your form together. Ooh, can I try it? Of course you can. Okay, I'll try it over here on the left side. So, take my hand like this. Put it on your finger pads. There finger you go. Pads. And how should my arm be here? It should be 90 degrees. Got the 90 degree angle. Yeah. And then you have your other, yep, right there. Oh, and just need... like an L. <laughs> that Whoa. was great. Good job, Blippi. I made it. Well, what other kind of shots can we take? Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's do a jump shot. So if you okay. stay right there, I will come up here and we'll do a jump shot. Most of the time when you get into a jump shot, it is about jumping. Obviously, you got to <laughs> jump off the floor to shoot the shot. Okay, here we go. Are you First, ready? a chest pass. Whoa, switch! <laughs> okay, and now it's my turn. Okay, here you you want to go on the same side? Yeah, I'm going to go on the same side over on the right. All right, you ready? Chest pass into a jump shot. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh oh, I missed, but that's okay. You just need a little more practice. <laughs> Let's take one more shot. Okay. I think you can do it. You ready? Try it again. Let's go, Blippi. Are you cheering Blippi on? Come on, Blippi. <laughs> All right. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! It went in. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> well, are there any other types of shots that we need to learn about? Well, I think it's important because not everybody gets to shoot out there. So sometimes you have to be able to shoot closer to the basket. I like the post up into a hook shot. 
Ooh, what's a post up into a hook shot? Well, most of the time, if you're one of the taller players, but even some of our guards get down here. We got the mean guards. <laughs> All right, if you get down, you take the ball, dribble, and a hook shot is when you take the ball over your head and hook it into the basket. Oh, All right, okay. Well, the ball goes into the basket. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was really that good. Was awesome, and great defense. I tried. I had my hands up. <laughs> Okay. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, you want to try it? So, for a hook shot, what's the first thing I need to do? Well, the first thing, so most of the time you're going to post up, right? So you're going to be facing that way. Good okay. job, all right? Facing, facing this that way? way. So then the ball is going to come to you, and I like to say, when the ball comes to me, I like to dribble, one dribble. You might need to do two dribbles. I okay. step with my left, my right leg comes up, and then I hook it in. Okay. All right, you ready to try it? I'm ready to try it. All right, here we go, Blippi. Let's go. Let's go, Blippi. Okay, first, I'll post up, and then dribble two times, step in, and <laughs> hook shot. But, again, I need a little more practice. <laughs> Let's try that it again. That's your first time, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's my first time. So, if you miss on your first time, that's okay. You can just try again. <laughs> here we go. Remember, post up, dribble, dribble, dribble step. Oh! <laughs> well, uh oh! Maybe I need a little more practice than two times. Wow! Tamika, you are a really good basketball coach. Thanks, <laughs> Well, we learned dribbling, and passing, and shooting, and I made a layup. <laughs> well, I think we're ready to play a game. Well, what do you think about playing horse? Whoa! I love the game horse. Do you know how to play horse? <laughs> well, it's a game where one person makes a shot. And if they make it, the other person has to make the same shot. <laughs> but if they miss, they get a letter. And the first person to spell the word, they lose. <laughs> you don't want to spell the word. Hey, instead of playing horse and spelling horse, let's play Blippi and spell my name. Ah, you know what, Blippi? You are so creative. I love that. <laughs> Thanks. Well, let's play. So I've also been thinking, You've been practicing all day, and you are looking so much better. I think you're ready for the big show. The big show? <laughs> Let's meet today's players. Why we just make the orange and blue? Your friend, Lindsay! And they see the Royal Basketball Hall of Famer, four time Olympic champion, and Indian Fever legend, Tamika. Right side, right hand layup. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start on the right side and do a right hand layup. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. Okay, here you go. All now right, it's Tamika's turn. Left side. Let's go off the backboard. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> that's a little tricky. <laughs> Left side, and now off the backboard. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Blippi! No letters yet. Let's keep playing. <laughs> All right, let's go for a free throw. Whoa, oh, what's a free throw? Well, a free throw, a shot, right? It's a free shot that you normally get in the middle of the game. Oh. Somebody fouls you. You <laughs> oh, put your arm out, you're shooting. I shoot, you hit my arm, oh. the foul, I get to go to the free throw line. Uh oh, I made a foul. <laughs> Whoa, swish! <laughs> Tamika's really good at that. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it, because I don't want to get a letter. <laughs> uh, uh oh, <laughs> I missed it. So that means I get the letter B. Yeah, B for Blippi. <laughs> Dribble. We've been working on it. Whoa! <laughs> I hope I make it. <laughs> oh, uh oh, I missed again. That means I get an L. <laughs> okay, here goes Tamika. All right, Blippi, we're going to bring it in a little bit, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Try to make it easy. Off the backboard. Mm -hmm. 
left, if you can hit that, you know what a backboard is? Yeah, the backboard. That's that big rectangle behind the hoop. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. Good job, Flippy. Yeah, we made it. Wait, don't get a letter. <laughs> Woo. Maybe we can try a silly shot. Oh. Mm. Let's try behind the backboard. We can try it. I don't want to break the clock, though. That's okay. <laughs> Don't hit the clock. Whoa! Oh, Uh-oh. I got a miss. I got to go after you. Okay. Now, I get to pick what kind of shot we make. Hmm. Maybe a silly shot behind the back. Here we go. Woo! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I made it! Good oh, job, that was Blippi. a really tricky shot. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh! oh. Uh -oh. I got a B. <laughs> okay, so Tamika has a B, and I have a B and an L. <laughs> okay, let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Tamika's really good at playing basketball. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's okay. It's okay to miss a shot because you can just take another one. But that also means I get an I! B L I! <laughs> How about underhand? We're gonna go to the NBA three point line. This <sighs> We're gonna go underhand though. Okay. Brand new style. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> oh, a little bit too hard. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm gonna try the same shot because it's a pretty tricky one. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> hey, I made it! Maybe we can make an even bigger shot! Ooh, maybe if we back up to half court, we can make a really, really, really big I shot! I like it! <laughs> okay, let's keep backing up. Here we go! Here we go, Blippi! Ah! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I missed! <laughs> this one is extra tricky! <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> good job. <Ooh. laughs> you're getting good at this. Oh. Practice. Well, Practice. You, you're a really good coach, too. <laughs> oh, Whoa. no! Uh oh! <laughs> I got a B L. A B L. And I have a B L I. Oh, it's getting really close. Hey. Kind of. <laughs> so we're gonna do a right-handed hook shot. Okay, a right-handed hook shot? <laughs> Whoa. But we're gonna get a pass from Boomer. Can I get a pass from Boomer? Yeah, let's get a pass from Boomer. <laughs> All right, Boomer. I'm open. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Tamika made it! <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get a pass from Boomer. You gotta post up, post up. Well, that looked a little bit different than my shot. Oh no, I forgot something. <laughs> Did I do a hook shot? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> so I think I get another letter. I'll give you another chance. Oh, another chance? Yeah. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. Thanks. Post up. Okay. Ooh. And do you remember the kind of shot that I need to make? A hook shot. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was really close. <laughs> But I still get a letter. P. B. L. I. P. <laughs> Behind the backboard. Let's try it. Behind the backboard. I think we can get this one. You got it. Whoa! Hey! Wow! Did you see that? Whoa! <laughs> okay, now it's my turn. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh oh, I missed again. That means I get another letter. P again. B L I P P. Uh, we're still missing one letter. <laughs> Let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was great. Okay, my turn. Your turn. Let's go, Blippi. Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> uh -oh. <gasps> I get another letter, and that means B L I P P I. <gasps> Tamika wins! <laughs> uh, I think 
You look exhausted. You are sweating. We might need to take a hydration break. Yeah, let's take a hydration break and get some water. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing basketball and really tiring. <laughs> You're really good at basketball. You must have played for a really long time. Well, it takes a lot of practice. <laughs> well, when did you start playing? I started playing basketball when I was in third grade. Whoa. But I've been around basketball almost my whole life because my dad played in the NBA. Oh, your dad played basketball? <laughs> that sounds so fun. <laughs> my dad, my brother, my sister, my mom, and me. Whoa, that's great. <laughs> well, how did you get into basketball? Well, one of the main things and one of the main reasons I played sports I was born with a hearing disability, so I wear hearing aids. But when I was younger, I got made fun of. And so sports was where I could go and practice and practice and get really, really good at something so people couldn't make fun of me. <laughs> Whoa, that's so great and really inspiring. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's important to find your passion. Oh. Basketball is my passion, and I know that all of you have your own passion. <laughs> well, I have a passion too. I love to dance. <laughs> oh, and I do have one other question. If I wanted to get better at basketball, or maybe you want to become a professional basketball player, do you have any advice? I have a lot of advice, but I think the biggest thing is that you have to set a goal. And once you set a goal, you have to practice, practice, and practice until you get tired. But even more importantly, that you have to make good grades. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds really important. Making good grades, practicing, and setting a goal. <laughs> do you know what a goal is? Yeah, a goal is something you want to do, and then you work really, really hard to do that goal. <laughs> oh, well, I had so much fun playing basketball and exercising with you, but do you know another way that is really fun to exercise? Hmm. Dancing! <laughs> hey, Tamika, would you like to learn how to dance like me? Well, Blippi, I don't know. You're so good, but maybe I'll try my best. <laughs> okay, it sounds good. Let's learn to dance. Okay, the first thing you need to know to dance like me is, yeah, you gotta, gotta get warmed up. So move around, ooh, ooh, do some stretching. Oh, but we already played basketball and stretched, so we're all ready to dance. Woo! The second thing is you wanna move your body just however you want, and you can even do dance moves. Maybe, you know, jiggly arms. <laughs> or since we're playing basketball, Dribbly arms! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'm dribbling basketballs! <laughs> wow, that's fun. <laughs> Are you ready to dance together I'm, for real? I'm always ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Time to dance! <laughs> That was so much fun dancing! <laughs> Great Whoa. job, Tamika! Thank you, Flippy. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired! Oh, I'm tired too. Woo! I had a really good time with you today. Uh, I had a really nice time with you. Thanks so much for teaching me so many things about basketball and for being my coach. Oh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I might start blushing. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. Oh, well, maybe we should try one more shot. You ready for it? I'm ready. All right, <laughs> here we go. You made it! <laughs> Whoa! I can't believe we got to play basketball with Tamika Catchings! <laughs> and we had a really fun day, learning about stretching and exercising and being really healthy. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. 